you ever just sit down, prepare for everything to, you know, happen, and then everything just decides to happen all at once? Yeah, that's... That's what I've been dealing with over the past couple minutes. Uh, you know, sat down, getting things ready for my, my stream, and then uh, got called away, and then I came back, and then it was just like, hey, you know, the person who was doing chainsaw work uh, last some time ago, uh, previous stream, uh, you know what, after not hearing it for multiple nights, I'm gonna start back up again. You know, so that, that's lovely. Anyways, uh, welcome back, thank you, thank you for joining me. Uh, glad to, to have you all here, listening, watching, um, just being here however you feel. Uh, grateful for every single one of you, and I guess we're getting ready for possibly the the final art stream of you know redoing all my my prior work um I, I did fix up uh Perry a little bit and I mainly did that by making his body a little bit um a little bit uh, smaller by comparison to you know the rest of him so now now he's you know all 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 good he, he's you know looking correct might actually Ooh, I gotta, I gotta zoom in to make this go a little bit slower there we go portions work yeah that that works just a little bit better that's what I'm going for okay so yeah it's uh possibly possibly last time uh, I'll be be doing this specific uh, this specific art but I'm gonna put up a poll on uh, on my Twitter and see uh if if y'all want me to you know continue doing a bit of uh doing a bit more work uh art wise doing 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 just stuff in general you know not doing not doing too too much nothing you know like a little, little bit of, of fan art for other creators that kind of thing nothing nothing serious course because obviously best left uh to the the uh professionals for actually you know going about things but anyways now it's now it's uh that looks right okay you know i, I might do that might go back to just doing uh doing games uh but yeah i'm, I'm excited for whatever whatever comes next uh because you know be doing it with uh with everyone who's here it's uh it's it's definitely been a fun couple of uh a fun few streams Te technically it, it takes up the majority of my uh my my streaming uh, uh my my past stream library because uh I think that what is this stream seven is this is this really my seventh stream finished off a, a week of a streaming with <laughs> mostly art nice um but yeah the, i think the main thing for me is i don't have enough to talk about to continue doing you know art art streams like this because like when i'm playing a game i can just reference what's happening in the game I can do all all that without having to worry about like you know messing um without having to worry about like if i don't have something to say relating to uh anything else but in this case like when i'm doing art i kind of feel like the only 
things I can talk about are things that aren't really related to my art, since, you know, my art's not, not anything special. That's, uh, yeah, that, that's the main thing for me, is the concern over not having enough to talk about. I mean, today I have stuff to talk about because of the fact that, uh, you know, went out, did some things today, and that was, that was fun. Uh, let me think, what, I guess my biggest thing that I'd love to, you know, do a little, do a little vent about. Why do women's pants not have pockets? Or not have deep pockets? Uh, ra random, uh, thing it may sound like, but for me, I don't, I, uh, <sighs> The, the, uh, the thing with me, I love having pockets, um, for, for my jeans, but I don't like men's jeans. So I end up wearing, I tend to wear, like, women's, uh, jeans for, for my size, which, uh, on the topic of size, I'm now below 260, uh, you know, the, the, the weight loss journey continues, uh, vibes are good, but you know, I, I just like the way that they make me look and the the way that they make me feel You know, it's the only time that I ever feel like, you know, I look good Is where I, when I'm wearing like I Have a nice pair of, uh, of black jeans That really like, you know, taper to my to my legs. Well, um, I have this uh, beautiful black uh, pea coat that uh, technically doesn't fit me properly because I got it. I was like, oh, you know, an extra large men's uh, black pea coat, and then uh, it was like, no, nah, this is this is Asian extra large, so it don't fit me. But I'm keeping it because you know it's part of like the whole you know weight loss thing. I buy. I, I have this piece of clothing that I really love that's like you know i i want to wear and wear properly but i have to i'll have to lose weight in order for me to do that and you know i'm a, I, I enjoy you know having that as my as part of my goal uh but yeah you know it's usually just like uh i believe that it's monochromatic uh like only like it's a plain white shirt black jeans uh black pea coat uh, black headphones, you know, that, that's the, that's the fit, uh, when it comes to, like, colder, colder months, and then when it's not colder months, um, I have, I, I still like to, to wear something over, so, like, I have, like, a, uh, a little, as a Canadian, I have my government-mandated, uh, denim, uh, over shirt and I have my self a, uh, a flannel over shirt but I prefer the denim since it's even though it's like they're, they're both about the same type of like lightness you know they're not both neither of them are heavy but uh the the denim one just feels better on my on my skin so I enjoy it I just you know, I wish I lived somewhere that was colder, which it, it's funny because, you know, you're like, people have the conception that Canada is just, you know, cold constantly. And like, it, sure, it does get cold, but it doesn't, like, I just, I don't like the summer. It's not my, not my period of time that I really enjoy. Like, it, it, uh, it really is just like anything over room temperature for me is just a little bit too uncomfortable in terms of heat. I think it's room temperature. Is 20, 23, 24 degrees room temperature? I probably am wrong with that. But like, you know, anything that's more than 23, 24 degrees uh, Celsius is like, it, it just becomes like a bit icky for me. I, I don't really enjoy it. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, you just got to deal with it.
but yeah, I, I went out today. Um, it was really weird because the only time that it was really, uh, that, that it felt really hot was whenever, you know, the sun was directly on me. Like, you know, when there was no like direct sunlight, when you're in the, the shade, it felt like a completely normal, um, very, you know, not, it, it felt very, you know, how do I put it? It, it wasn't extremely, uh, it, it, there, there was just like a significant change between the heat of the, uh, of everything when the sun was like directly on you versus, uh, when it's not like usually in the shade, it's a little bit cooler, but like today it was like significantly cooler if you were in the shade versus uh in the sun and i was in the sun for for a little bit had to wait in line you know do all the whole uh getting getting my stuff uh done and it just you know it, it it went by. It was expensive. Oh, Lord. That was... I forgot. Um, but yeah, you know... I got... I got everything renewed for, like, the next five years. So I don't have to worry about it again. Until I'm nearly 30. Which, uh... Disgusting thought of me as a near 30-year-old. Um... But, you know, it's just, it is how it is. Um, but yeah, you know, I was just, just out doing that. Uh, my brother went shopping yesterday. And that is, yeah. Uh, yeah, he went, he went shopping, did all, all that stuff. And then today he's, uh. Not only did he pick me up uh, lunch for tomorrow, but like he, he went out to, to go get uh, food. So that's like my monthly, you know, uh, it, it's not even fast food, the place that he went and got uh, the stuff from. But, you know, he, he went and got, got uh, stuff for me, which extremely nice of him. Uh, and it's going to save me a lot of time tomorrow, though. I don't really need to save time tomorrow. Tomorrow's a day where I'm just gonna be, you know, doing my usual in-house uh, in duties, things like that. But yeah, you know, just, uh, just existing, making sure that I get all my, all my stuff done. And then, uh, he, he's currently out um, watching the new Fast and the Furious movie. And, you know, I, I assume that he already went and saw it, but supposedly, according to him, he did not. So, uh, either he is lying to me and he has went out and seen it, or um, he enjoyed it so much that he... And, and he enjoyed it enough that he wants to go watch it again, or... Uh, I just have a terrible memory, and he has not actually seen it, which realistically both could be the the correct answer in this scenario. Um, so yeah, let me get the layers working for me. CPC, no, CP up, CP zero. There we go. Fill it in. It's a little bit lighter than uh, that, but you know, uh, a little bit lighter than what's underneath. But I, I'm looking, yeah, it's looking good. Um, okay, find those spots where it's not looking perfect and make it look perfect. Or perfect to me, at least. But yeah, you know, I, I went out 
uh, for my my weekly. Um, I, I try to try to get out of the house like at least weekly, and do something that isn't mandatory. But in this case, it was technically mandatory. It's just like you know, I don't have a car. Uh, I can't drive, and that's like it's a psychological thing as well as you know I have multiple medical uh, reasons as to why I should not be allowed to drive from vision to uh, attention and things like that. Anyways, uh, before I get sidetracked, um, you know, so so for me, like, I, I can't really go anywhere. It's one of the, the things where, like, you know, if you don't have a vehicle, there's a very limited amount of places that you can go. And like sure you know i could go walking but but there's like nowhere to i guess walk to that i would be you know interested in going or where i wouldn't look weird because like the nearest thing that i could go to is like an elementary school playground and that's you know that a grown man rolling up to a playground uh that you know don't clearly don't have a kid it's weird weird and i'm not not about that uh not about those optics. Um, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm like, I'll, I'm okay with, you know, being, I guess, is it sedentary? I'm not 100% sure what the exact terminology is, but like, I'm okay with, you know, existing um, primarily around the, the house. Anyways, um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, it's been a, a nice, it, man, it's been a week. It's just, it feels insane to me that it's been like, you know, I've, I've now gone through a whole, whole week of, uh, uh of streaming to you guys. It's just like, man. And, uh, why is that not showing up? Oh, because I'm using the wrong color. That, that's why. Uh, well, now I have to... There we go. Didn't realize I was using the wrong color. Um, and then give this a quick. I should not. I shouldn't do that yet. Don't don't want to do that yet. Uh, but yeah, you know I'm. I am just so happy with how things have gone so far. I. Uh, I'm. There is one thing. I was like, you know, if people ask and are like, hey, we want you to continue doing uh, art rather than, you know, switching over to, to doing gaming. Um, I definitely, I have ideas. I have ideas. Because um, I did, I did mention on Twitter yesterday that I'm interested in the idea of making a DD &D campaign for vtubers like you know get a get a group of, of vtubers together who, who like the idea of uh who, who've maybe been interested in playing DD &D or have experience but um don't have the the time to do so because of streaming you know that kind of have that kind of thing going on where they're they, they love the the outlet but they don't have the uh the ability um so you know want to provide that that's that that's the that's the goal um i'm okay with that being slightly different anyways um you know so i think 
that uh, if I can make that happen, you know, do a do a game, you know, I'll use my my free time, um, you know, before uh, my free time during the day to to make. Ooh, uh, sorry, uh, to make a campaign that people will. Um, Uh, that people will enjoy. And I think, yeah, I, I, I could definitely do that. And I think, like, I could create a story that would be interesting to watch and interesting to, to play in. Um, and just kind of, kind of see how it goes, you know? Um, uh, I've already seen some people, uh, I guess showing interest in the, the idea in general, which is awesome. And kind of got the, this cute little belt thing going on. Nice. Um, yeah, and then I learned about, I believe it was, yes. Yes. There we go. Nice. See, now the entire pants are a layer. I, I learned about that. Uh, last night while I was trying to figure out a way to to make the to make things look I guess better if that makes sense um, I actually might extend the hand up a bit and over make it make the hands a bit bigger gotta keep gotta keep the hands separate because if you do them together then it can uh, throw things in Entirely out of whack because obviously if you try to like uh, move them to get uh, try to like increase the size of just one it will increase the size of both anyways I noticed a single pixel that is wrong and I'm oh this is gonna be there we go okay fix that. Is it a problem over here? No, it's not a problem over there. Why is it a problem over here? Anyways, I have my... It gave my character some pants. Uh, you know what? I might do... I might give him... I guess, since since this isn't going to take, I guess, a lot of time, at least, you know, knock on wood, it's not going to take a lot of time to, uh, to complete... Uh, the these three layers actually he does have his chain I nearly forgot that that would go above these two here and the chain okay and now let me hide that real quick Yeah, like I, I feel like I don't have. Oh, um, I did that wrong. Okay, um, I do feel like I. Uh, ooh, I don't know why I'm. I'm yawning. I've been very awake all day, and I, I just. You know, I woke up at my usual time. I went to bed uh, at a decent time yesterday. You know, I, I shouldn't be tired, but I guess I am. That's yeah, weird. Um, you know, I guess sometimes that happens. Uh, do, 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 let me get my reference image layer and get rid of you. Away with you. My weird little shirtless man um so anyways uh yeah i don't i've kind of i've got nothing really to, to talk about today um if anyone wants to you know offer some some things to, to bring up in the in the chat 
be happy to, you know, talk about them. Uh, you know, all that, all that kind of stuff. Ooh, that, that, that turned into some incorrect uh, sizing real quick. Let's get this vaguely neck area. Actually, it's mostly about like getting this part right. You know, that that's on a, that, that's looking, that that's looking good. I think so at least. Um, just not exactly to there. There we go. That okay. There we go. That that looks good on the uh, on the this portion. Cool, cool. Okay, Let me get the the outline going of this uh, bottom portion here. You know. Get it around. Make a little uh, give him a little wool shirt. Oh, I just realized, man. Uh, oh no, I did did something wrong. I think. Oh no, I did. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's up to up to there on him and man, I really really messed up his arms. They're kind of noodly compared to where I want them to be, but ah, uh, I'll I'll live with them not being, not being perfect. Okay, so. Now where is about halfway up his arm in this case? About here? feels about right. Actually, I actually like where these are. It's like the reference uh, points for where to throw the, you know, the rolled sleeves up. Nice. Oh god, I just realized I made that one way too big. Because I started tracing instead of focusing in. Yeah, I don't want to Oh, what's going going on with me today? I did, didn't drain my. Actually, I might have drained my social battery battery already. Uh, as yeah, that's that's probably what ended up happening as I drained my my social battery. But now I'm a little, little bit tired. Little, little, little sleepy, but eh, that, that's okay, you know? It, it's okay to just be, be a bit tired and need to, you know, it need to, you know, rest and recover. I can, I can do that after stream, though. I don't have anything major tomorrow and I have food prepared so that's a that's a big plus because now I don't have to worry about tomorrow's meal actually well usually I do get kind of hungry after if it's only just the one and that's that's beside the point I'll uh let me just remove the 
to reference image off the screen real quick and erase that that looks that looks weird it's going for more more relaxed vibes I guess today you know even more than usual I'm pretty pretty relaxed in general and then I mean, if you if you see in my my clip of you know me playing uh, State of Decay two, uh, you you will know for a fact that like even while actively losing uh, characters, you know, and having them be defeated, you know, right before me. I'm still relatively, you know, relaxed. Oh, I removed something that I did not intend to. How, how did I do this? Oh God, I'm doing this completely wrong. That's why it doesn't look right. Because I'm dumb. I'm meant to be making, you know, meant to be making a little little thing and then I'm you know overdoing it because it, yeah it's supposed to look okay there we go I got my thing you know here ish and like that and then over the shoulder type thing. Yeah, there we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. Not whatever I was doing. And yeah, this goes in from this side because I feel like there was a reason. Like I remember, uh, was, it, was it for this? Um, you know, I saw I saw a thing where it's just like explaining why uh, buttons tend to be on the right hand side. I have a feeling it's probably because most people are right handed. I could be entirely wrong though. You know me, I'm I'm not the pinnacle of knowledge that I never was. You know that that's that that's that's not who I am. Ooh, that's actually not touching. I need that to touch. Okay, cool. And now, oh, I just realized a problem that I've created for myself. Uh, Cause yeah, if I go too far, it will thing. So I have to color that part by hand. Anyway, so actually that's not all that much of a problem, you know. That's a constraint I can totally work within. And now that that's done, I just duplicate. Shirt, color. Move that down there. Pop open this. And let's get to casual. This is gonna. There we go. You know, keep keeping it casual, keeping them uh, keeping it very me. I uh, that gotta like decrease that to like one pixel. Get the other side now. I 
nice, nice, nice. Now move that back to five. Get this part done and dusted. Let's get around here. And yeah, it's looking, looking very nice. Just keep it, uh, keep it going. Really hope that Twitch hasn't given me like a weird, uh, a weird, uh, what's it called? Thumbnail or preview image for the stream. Cause I don't think it's a thumbnail before it, uh, officially ends like you have to wait until after but I, I just hope it's not something like the you know the times that I was like double checking around uh around Perry's crotch to make sure that there was no like um missing pixels that needed to be filled in because that, that would that would paint a very different image from what's going on here from that of a completely completely wholesome and uh friendly experience to to that of you know we, we we draw dicks on stream no not actually um we're, we're just we're focused on parts where we shouldn't be that's a better way to, to put it i gotta 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 chill out a bit But yeah, you know, it's uh, it's all looking good, which is good. I kind of, man, I really want to play the Telltale series of Walking Dead games. I don't know why that just came to mind. I I downloaded it. I have it ready to go. I have all the stuff needed to stream it. And like, I I just wanna wanna do it. I've I've played through the game so many times and like watched other streamers play it and like I have like an intimate well I'm not gonna say intimate knowledge of the the series but you know I I really I really enjoy it I really love the the whole vibe does it matter that you know I'm a I'm a pretty uh I, I don't want to say I'm a big Walking Dead fan I mean I'm a, I'm a fan of a lot of things but like, if you were to look at, you know, a lot of people who are fans of stuff, they'll they'll have you know, any kind of memorabilia, uh, you know, um, uh, merch, anything like that. And I I own like no merch, no memorabilia, no nothing. I just, you know, I, I don't I keep keep my keep my room. Man, I was about to. Uh, I was, man, I was going to make a ERB reference. Um, you know, I, I, uh, I, my room is extremely bare bones, aside from, like, my computer and streaming setup. It's all, but that's all in one corner of my room. And then, you know, it's just bed, wall, 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 ceiling, floor, nothing. That's about it. Like, I even shoved my, my dresser into my closet so that way it would, wouldn't take up any room in, in my room. Uh, I'm a very space conscient, conscientious uh, individual. Though, actually, I do have a small bench that has my... Uh, it, it, it has my, my kind of clothes uh, for the day... Uh, set out there like my or I guess my sorry not my clothes for the day like my go-to clothes so my jeans my, my my pair of jeans my my shirt for like if I'm going out for any like occasion that I you know need to look a certain way for I have have that all all set up but you know that that's like and then I I have that bench there because it also also has like a small fan that I can't use because it would pick up on stream um and a 
uh, an alarm clock that I don't have the alarm active for it like all it does is it makes like this small mechanical click of like you know when an alarm should turn on and that just immediately wakes me up uh, or at least that that's what I did in the past to to wake myself up is have that like alarm click and then I'd be up and uh, go to vote my day Oh, I do, man, the, the yawns are just hitting me so much. So weird. Um, okay, so now I need, now I need buttons. Buttons. Uh, all the buttons are done in gold. And where's my thing? There we go. I feel like I'm both moving too fast and too slow today. Or, sorry, today specifically referring to this stream. Because, like, you know, I'm already done. Well, I say done. Give me, give me like, you know, two minutes and I'll be done half of the work that I needed to do. And then, at the same time, I'm like, man, I feel like I'm m moving slowly. Uh... Let's make this the first button right here. Okay. Yep, that looks right. Make it the right size. Tad bit bigger. Uh, oh, you know what? Something amazing did happen to today, though. Um, aside from me being cut in line, uh, well, actually, a lot of people were cut in line by someone at the. Uh, I guess think of it as the equivalent to the DMV, um, which, you know, it's like the the Canadian equivalent of a DMV, except it does like all the the IDs and uh, the license plates and uh, everything. Anyway, so yeah, person person cut in line uh, and just you know, there was like t still at that time there was like 10, 12 people ahead of me and this person was like one uh, and then there was like uh, me and then there was the person who cut and I'm like uh, I'm looking at this person like, you know, they have, they have a small kid with them, and I'm like, just like, you know, like, I get that you might be busy, but come on, like, I, I mean, I was, I, I was, you know, there and back home in under two hours, you know, which is pretty decent, because it was like, uh, it was like a 30 minute commute each way um and then like an hour there waiting for you know 10 people ahead of me that's 10 minutes a person that's not terrible you know and like i was in in there i i only went in to get one thing done and then i realized because the other one's free i should get it done now uh you know get like um health card and stuff done as well as like photo id and i was just like oh man this is like you know perfect Perfect timing. Anyways, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that, that looks decent. I like that. There's probably gonna be a phantom button that's like right here, right on the waistband, or uh, tucked in. That's gonna be just absolute um, hell. But you know, let's let's do a little outline of the button. Did do this initially on my thing because I was like, oh man, I can't really do a good outline on it back then but now that I have this little handy dandy handy dandy trick in my arsenal which was probably extremely you know simple and whatnot um it's uh yeah it's going going smoothly 
and then yeah, get the get the last last bit done. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy to you know. I'm happy that I, I've. I'm happy for what I've done, not happy that it's coming to an end, I guess is the best way to, to describe the the, uh, the the situation. And I felt terrible yesterday. I, I gotta figure out how to do raids after I'm done, because I want to, you know, uh, I wanna, wanna do that. That would be, that would be cool. And I just, I don't really know how to do that yet. Um, uh, that that's kind of like I, I, something I'd be interested in doing. Let's like rating people with my my viewers after the fact. People who are who are listening in. Uh, you know, send them over to someone who's uh, deserving of it. Ah. Oh, you know what? I might not be able to do it because I'm a new account. That might be why. You know. I'd have to I'd have to check my my stuff and things but yeah it'd be, it'd be pretty cool to you know do do that um you know get that get that done anyways i have my have all have all this part done so let's get this uh control e e nice now it's all one layer dope and uh let's do the let's do the chain uh the chain's relatively you know knock on wood relatively simple um i try to try to keep it that way for for a reason um so you know it's not something that i do irl you know wearing wearing a chain it's it's a bit bit much for me it, i find it kind of is is the word gaudy i think um but you know what i mean uh actually let me uh let me make this thicker actually let's do that 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 might be what i need The, the base value thicker yeah you know go with the go over the top and then bring it back down for this portion you know do do that uh, do, do, do. Kinda, I, I do want to get back into doing a little bit of a little bit of gaming I guess uh, maybe make it like a little palette cleanser type uh, scenario because yeah I like as, I, as I've mentioned before I'm not a proper artist um, I'm, I'm a non artist who does art at a necessity in this this case um, and yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to kind of be pers. Not uh, that's that's bad. Bad way. Bad way of saying. Uh, what I'm. What I mean. Uh, how would I say what I what I'm trying to say? It's not that I don't want to be perceived as an artist because that that makes it sound like I'm maybe not embarrassed, but like I don't see it as something. I want to be uh, associated with. Uh, in, in this case, I'm seeing it as more as like, I don't want other people to associate me with art for it because I don't want to be like a, uh, a hindrance, a 
bad i don't want to give art a, artists a bad rep i mean like oh this this classifies as an artist nowadays you know that makes sense uh it, it's just like yeah i don't want to like i i wouldn't call myself a proper artist because that that would be I, I guess i'd say as i would say it's offensive to actual artists who do actual work that's actually good and here i am just making circles that do not really even line up to attach to each other to make a a fake little gold chain you know that that's like uh Also because I'm not skilled enough in art. I don't, I'm just like, ah, that's, you know. I, I'm not on the level of other people. I mean, just in general, but also just, just specifically for art. And I don't wanna lower the bar by being like, yep, I, I'm, I'm an artist. Anyways, like, you know. Also, I guess that doing art wasn't really my intention of, like, what I initially wanted to go with. For, like, me as a, as a, you know, a content, a content creator? Wow, that's, it's weird to say out loud. Uh, but yeah, you know, me myself as a content a person who creates content online i don't think that art necessarily should be my brand um because yeah i'm both i guess not that uh not not that great at it and you know there, there are many other much more amazing artists out there that could be watched. Anyways, uh, let me get this rest of this thing done. Because uh, I need to. I, I don't want to take up too much more time uh, doing art beyond what I, beyond what I have to do, and then, uh, looks much harder from this direction, actually, probably won't be if I do it like this, there we go, now that's too big of loops now that I'm looking at them compared to other, my other loops, uh, You know, I'm just the the self confidence that I have gained from doing uh doing streaming. I, I don't want it to uh, don't want it to. That's again sounds worse than I intend. But like, I'll leave art to the professionals and. Be content with what I've done as an artist and be like, yeah, you know, as an artist, as a non-artist and be like, okay, I can be proud of the, the work that I've done uh, to make my character look a little bit better, a little bit more professional. But uh, yeah, actually, you know, there was a, I, I did like something uh, earlier today. Um, a, a gentleman who did like uh who's doing uh who's doing vtubing i honestly i've already forgotten the name sadly 
uh, just because I'm, I'm not good with names. Um, but, you know, it was like talking about uh, you know, the guide to being successful at YouTubing from like that, like someone who's actually done it. And one of the things that um, that they brought up was like um, that they they didn't start with a PNG model. They uh, I've not done this at nearly enough of an angle. You know what? Circles too much work. Ruining the, ruin the vibe. Ruining the vibe. Let's do wonky, wonky lines. Make it, make it the way that it was supposed to be. With, you know, vaguely uh, correct outlines. Anyways, uh, but you know, he, he was just like, you know, he didn't start out as a, a PNG. Um, in his case, he, he's in a different in a different boat because he he has like a full time job um, as a lawyer and uh, you know he had twenty five hundred dollars to put towards making a model and doing doing all that and like that's you know that that's way out of my ability um, so you know. It, I won't say that it's like perfect for everyone. Oh, I did. Didn't mean to do that. Um, but you know, it, overall, it was like, uh, from what I read through, like it was, it was, it probably would have been helpful, yeah, to the right, to the right people. But in this case, it was not me who would benefit from it. So uh, I still, you know, gave it a a like and uh, retweeted it. I think I man that was like it wasn't even that long ago and I'm already being forgetful um but you know like I, I made sure to to show it show it love and make sure that if another creator is out there and sees it and is like able to uh make some use for it that they do get the uh the chance I realized though now that I forgot something. Did I? No, I didn't do that in my other one because it would have looked weird. Obviously. Um, there we go. Let me get this around the edge. Anyways, but yeah, you know, it was this cool thing. I'm trying to be more active, you know, with uh, other other creators because you know nice thing to to do uh find people that uh maybe it, they don't have to share the i guess the same style as me but like you know person i can vibe with and that's what i'm trying to do you know try to always you know grow engagement um do my best to you know put myself out there connect with different people from different you know backgrounds different styles so that way i can really uh get to get the full experience and yeah so far i mean you know i it's been a couple days so obviously i'm not expecting to you know hear back from or hear hear back hear from anyone i, I, I guess i'm still i'm not being too proactive all things considered like I'm you know I, I'm not like out here reaching out to every other uh, VTubing uh, every other member of, like the you know the VTube community I've only reached out to one and that's because I, I made a promise that I would uh, that I plan to you know uphold and keep if it happens it happens and if it doesn't it doesn't that's you know, but, uh, at, at this moment, you know, I want to, want to, I don't want to just jump in 
to the the deep end uh when i you know test the waters a bit it's a weird analogy for someone who can't swim to use but you know it gets the point across uh no yeah i guess i should it, it is funny uh despite well i mean i'm i'm a pirate only for aesthetics um but yeah no i cannot actually swim uh well i ca i can just not well i i am a like you know if if i if i was if a story was to come out that i was like you know it, it, that i i god that was gonna be uh like I, it's as, as someone who watches uh people who do conspiracy theory videos i always joke uh that you know the the statement if it if it comes out that i was like drowned in a it, that i drowned in like my pool uh i didn't that was like the government or the conspiracy people uh doing so in my case i cannot say the same thing but i don't own a pool so and i don't really go near them because they are dangerous to someone who can't can't swim properly you know so i, I want to make sure that I, i'm out here being being safe you know don't want to don't want to overdo it and then uh end up end up uh regretting regretting the actions actually you know what there that, that looks good that looks good indeed nice i like that There we go. I got casual parry done. Nice, nice. The the stream is going well. Well, actually, I'm an hour in and I'm almost almost halfway done. And I mean, the waistcoat it doesn't take long. So really, it's only the jacket left. I want to find something else to draw. I might do. I'm going to do background stuff. Definitely. That's that's the uh, that's that's what I'm going to end up doing let's do save as uh, carry v2 um, save as png yeah sure I'll replace the one okay um nice now I'll add on the uh actually no, these these two better go together um for sure and they go they go straight up to the, the top well actually no they go underneath jacket over top waistcoat uh so cool let me grab the Color references back because I'm gonna need that that nice little burgundy color going on right there. Um, but first, I need the color black. Oh, I have it already set up. I am so smart. Uh, so let's get this going right up to here, right across. Um, you know what, I'll just do it down. Let me hide the, the chain real quick. Let me tuck the chain. Ain't looking to get jumped out here for my chain. Uh, okay, cool, cool. Uh, oh no, it did that too long. Um, okay, I think that did that all the way back to the beginning there, and then. Oh no. Uh, There we go. 
the most intense work trying to tell where I've already been I was thinking of uh, trying out, like, I guess a topic generator, which, I mean, I could still do. Well, let's, let's, let me see. I'll pull up a uh, dream topic. does not apply to me because I'm not American. Uh, the question, can I hold my breath for more than 60 seconds? No. That, that's a, that's a hard no. Um, don't like, don't like holding my breath all too much. Uh, I'm, I'm someone who breathes. I, I am one of them, uh, the wretched mouth breathers. Uh, as some may put it. Um, it's just because I have, I was born with, my nose is weird since I was born. Uh, so I, I need, need my nose uh, to function if I was going to attempt to, uh, you know, breathe regularly through it. And currently that is not something that I can do with it. Which, you know, shame, but it is what it is. You can't, can't be perfect. Um, but, you know, I, I'm perfectly content with the fact that I cannot hold my breath for more than 60 seconds. Because I don't, don't really know what uh, reason I would need to to hold my breath for that long. Um, waistcoat color. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'm, it's, it is what it is. You can't really, I, I could definitely train myself probably to, to hold my breath for, for longer than that. But it's, it's, you know, it's something that I don't, uh, I, that I don't need to, you know, worry about. Um, but, yeah, the next question that popped up, um, what is a movie that I wish I could see again for the first time? That's actually a tough question. Because, like, for... I, wow. Uh, huh. What is a, I don't actually have a, an answer for that, uh, right off the top of my head. Like, oh, wow, that's, that, that one's caught me off guard. Um, let's see, what's a, ooh. Man, it's a, I, wow, I have, I've been thrown for a loop, uh, been bamboozled, flabbergasted, uh, absolutely, uh, rigmaroled, uh, and, wow, um, because, like, my first thought, uh, when that question came up, was you know well okay what's a movie that i really enjoy but like um the movie that first came to mind was uh, a silent voice but i feel like it wouldn't hit the same 
you know, now that I've, uh, because I saw it at the perfect point in my life. I didn't, if I'd watched it at a different time, I don't know if it would have had the same impact for me, right? And then my second idea was Suicide Squad, the original, um, not the, not the new one. I made my opinions known about how I prefer the classic or the original, uh, the classic, the original one to the, the newer one. Um, just, I preferred the vibe of the first, but like that, that I like to, to watch is like mindless fun. So it'd be pointless to, you know, re-watch it for the first time because I'd be watching it and, you know, I don't have the, the foreknowledge that it's just tur that to just turn off my brain and enjoy it. Anyways, uh, who Man, this is the toughest question of the day for me. Yo. Huh. What? Because, like, if there... If it came down to, like, what's a... It was, like, any series or anything like that. Oh, assassination Classer might be up there. I absolutely love that, and it's one of one of a very few select uh, pieces of entertainment that could actually bring me to tears. Uh, the ending did. It's uh, it it was just an amazing, an amazing ride, in my opinion. Because I, I watched, the thing is, is, like, I watched the whole thing in two days. I think it was two days. Um, like, I, I watched it, like, I binge-watched it during, like, my heyday of where I could just sit and, you know, watch any series that I wanted to for an extended period of time without, uh, like, I, I could get through, I think it was, ooh. Like, I think my I was an average of 20 episodes a day I could get through of like anime I think it was 20 uh might have been more might have been 24 actually um but yeah like I I was I was that I think I finished it all off in like either one or two days. But yeah, uh, that was, you know, that, that was that, that thing that was an, uh, entire, uh, you know, man, I really, I really don't know what to, to go with. It's like. Man, it feels weird not to know what, like, I would say is the, uh, the one that I would, like, I, man, it's, it's weird. Huh. You know, I'd also, have, I'd have to look at my list, too, because, uh, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's a. Uh, that's one that I'm gonna have to tweet out later, like that. That's what I need to like. You know, I need to look through my stuff, and get back to you on that one. Um. Okay. Next question. Uh, who's my favorite streamer to watch? Ooh. Uh. It depends on the day, I guess. Uh. T -t -t like, I, I only, like, I don't watch streamers fully, like, I, I watch clips, because I don't have time, gotta watch, gotta 
you know, clips are my, my go-to. And some of the people that I love watching clips for are like, you know, who gets pushed a lot. I, I've watched a lot of like, you know, obviously you, uh, obviously Clippers uh, will, you know, push content like uh, Shy Lily, uh, uh, Numi, Bao, Yuzu, uh, Tricky, because, you know, they're, not only are they like, you know, seem like awesome people and just have a lot of fun but obviously for their uh for uh, sus moments um and then you have like your others that are there for like you know being wholesome and laid back uh like uh you know Honey, you got uh, Sanson. Uh, I said Sanson, Sanson. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, you know, so so many. Uh, I just hmm, who's my current favorite though? You know what? Can't go wrong with oh I was gonna say it's gonna say someone now I'm like oh no wait but I really like this person's vibe uh <laughs> okay okay going to say Mika Melodica that that's my oh, that's my answer I'm gonna going to Gonna, gonna stick with that. It's a, a perfect mix. Perfect mixture of just wholesome, relatable. Uh, feels very me. Uh, what did I eat for breakfast today? Nothing. I do not eat breakfast because I, uh, I'm a, no, I, I was gonna say I'm a bad person. I don't eat breakfast, even though I should. Um, you know, I just, I never really was a breakfast person. Like, I can't eat I, I don't like bacon. Um, like, the only time that I eat bacon is, like, occasionally when it's on pizza. And that's it. As, like, a, as a topping. Uh, I can't eat eggs by themselves. They have to be cooked in with something. Like, you know, like a baked good. Or else uh, my body disintegrates in on itself. Um... I don't drink, uh, I don't drink coffee, I don't drink tea, I don't do cereal, um, there, honestly, there, I, man, it's, you know, it's, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, don't do breakfast, um, introvert or extrovert, I am an introvert, but I feel like I've become more extroverted on stream where I have that kind of buffer of uh, not protection, but you know, like a, a little, a buffer that keeps me like able to, you know, how do I put it? I, it, it gives me a buffer and gives me more confidence to be able to, you know, just go about and talk about anything like, you know, if I wanted to be really, uh, really, you know, I was gonna say suspect and just talk about like, you know, I, I can't think of what I would talk about. I, but anyways, like, you know, if I wanted to be like really, really weird and talk about something completely weird that I, Enjoy, or if I want to just absolutely rant about how I find Artemis Fowl a terrible movie, it's my my go to, my punching bag. Uh, you know, I, I I feel comfortable talking about it because I have that not anonymity, even though technically that is part of it. I have the anonymity to 
to speak freely as myself and not um, be, you know, ousted, I guess. Not, not, uh, not ousted. Ousted sounds wrong in this scenario. Uh, but like, you know, it, it gives me, it gives me a certain level of confidence because I'm kind of, I, I feel like I'm in a safe space when I'm streaming and that, that's, that's what I'm going for. That's the vibe. I'm, there we go. That's, that's what I was looking for. I feel like I'm in a safe space when I'm streaming. So I uh, feel like I can really talk about anything and not be... Like, worst case scenario, someone disagrees with my opinion and we go our separate ways and, you know, they never come back to the stream and I never see them again. And it's, you know, it, it is it is what it is. You can't really uh, change anything about that. But, you know, it's just like I feel, feel more confident, more comfortable talking on stream about things. And, yeah, that's... Uh, that's a that's a good question. Uh, no, okay. Uh, cool. So, do I have any tattoos? And what what um would I ever want any slash what would I get? So, uh, yes. I well no, I don't have any tattoos. But man, I would love to get tattoos. I man, I, I've mentioned this kind of before, very very briefly, that I really enjoy tattoos um the the I, I i i wish i could get them it would be it would be so awesome to to get a to get a tattoo you know because like sure you know there's people who are like oh but it, it's it's permanent you know and it's going to be on you forever and i'm like i don't care that's that's why i like it it's something that like I will be able to, to look back on and be like, I did this. I went through the process and gave myself, uh, got it, not gave myself, I'm not going to give myself a tattoo, but like, you know, I got a tattoo and it was my choices, my responsibility, my action, uh, and I do not regret it, you know, for a moment. I, I love my, yeah, I love the, the idea. And what I would specifically get, I have a few I items. The one that's least likely to ever happen, unless I get like, I'd have to get like laser, uh, laser, like kind of, I guess laser scar removal, probably for my back and like a large pore pr pretty much like that's that's something that's like you know future me if i ever made enough money at any kind of job that i work and that i do i'd i'd be saving up for for laser scar removal because man to get rid of if i could get rid of my scars i feel like i'd be so much more confident with myself as a person because like for me like I don't like the idea of being seen without my shirt off. Obviously. Um, like only only two people outside of the the house know what I look like without like a shirt on. And that's like uh, both of them are you know my brother's girlfriends when they come by and I don't have my shirt on because it's you know hot out and I don't want to be well, actually, no, it's not even hot out. It's just, I don't, like, uh, I, I, I want to, you know, be freely myself and freely out there. So I don't want to wear a, uh, a shirt. But anyways, like, I, I wouldn't do that, like, you know, I don't, I, I wear, I try to wear a shirt early on, at least in any of their relationships, because I feel like, it's a problem for them if I don't have a shirt on and then their partner sees, you know, my skin is just like, you know, kind of, you, what is that type thing? Uh, being like, 
you know, that being that kind of person. And yeah, but anyways, I'd, I'd love to get like a raven done on my, uh, on my back. Um, I think it would just be really, really cool. Uh, like a nice, uh, the, the raven specifically, you know, having a raven holding a, uh, a what's it called? Holding a rose, because rose is like, it's my favorite flower. There's no real, I guess, symbolism behind that. Beyond it being like my favorite flower and being like, you know, really cool. Kind of like how, how I said that uh, chicken is peak meat, uh, rose is peak flower. Um, but anyways, that, that's beside the point, getting sidetracked. Um, you know, I'd, yeah, I'd want that. And then um, I have an idea for an arm piece based around creation and then the other based around destruction. Um, both implemented specifically for my, for writing. Um, both of them just seem like they'd be really cool, you know, fits. Um, you know, cause as I, I do writing and I'd sooner call myself a writer than I'd call myself an artist. Cause you know, when it comes to, it comes to writing, um, I feel more comfortable doing writing than I do, you know, making art. But anyways, like I, I feel, you know, that's what I, I feel more comfortable doing. And I have them, uh, a theme based around creation and destruction uh, for my arm. Uh, I have a drawn up kind of sketch based around a, a tattoo that my mom has um, as well for, for, uh, for my leg. Because uh, both my parents have tattoos. My dad has uh, ones that he got. At, he he got them like when he was, you know, young and possibly inebriated. I don't know. Uh, I'd have to have to ask he him. But like you know, he got them a while ago. And my mom has one that she got relatively recently. Um, all things considered, it was like. I want to say, oh god, how recent was it? It was, it was like, it was very, it was pretty recent. Like it was in the past decade. I know that. But I'm like, oh god, when was it? Because I can't remember. Can't remember the year. But anyway, she got, she got one back when she was still working. Um, and you know, it, it's just a, um, it, it's one that kind of commemorates the the family. And, you know, that would, that'd be cool. I'd love to, you know, get, get that, that done as a little commemoration as well, but like my own way, you know, kind of be inspired, uh, by it and do that. And then I had an idea for a, a chest thing, but like that, doing a whole chest piece, uh, would be quite, quite, a quite a lot. And yeah, I'd have to, I'd have to see. I also wouldn't want to get it until like I'm, I guess, at a healthier weight because I don't want the the skin to become like kind of kind of loose. I want to be at a at a good weight before I but before I end up doing it. Um, okay, let me get this thing off my screen. Looking, looking good. Uh, there we go. That's that's all well and good now. He uh, he do be looking, do be looking good. Okay, so let's get this color and start a filling. Almost was on the wrong layer. Oh wait, 
I am because I was going to let me duplicate it. But yeah, you know, I've, I have ideas for tattoos. Uh, don't have a pet. Greatest musician that ever lived. Oof. Uh, I'm not a person who's really into music. Like, I, I listen to who I listen to. Um, I, I listen to who I listen to. Like, I really like, uh... I, I, I kind of shared my, like, my one of my favorite songs right now, um, which was uh, Moshi Moshi by, uh, what was it, I think it's Kill Switch. Let me make sure that I'm, you know, I, I'm, uh, oh wait, no, it's not Kill, uh, it's not Kill Switch, no, because that's, uh, that's, um, I think they're, there for for a different different song um yeah sorry no it's young rare uh god i feel terrible for getting that one wrong is kill switch featured no it, he's uh, just another artist i guess that i that i do listen to um like i was i listen to a lot of uh listen to a lot of stuff like you know suicide boys i listen to uh jd i listen to x uh i listen oh no that that went poorly uh, i guess i did that on the wrong layer um you know i i, I listen to a lot of different artists that side either did this side though um uh, but yeah like I, I listen to a lot of different artists my my style though for what i usually go for is kind of i guess dark and moody uh emo a lot of emo stuff a lot of rap um a lot of more um a lot of harder uh, music stuff that you would hear on like you know a gym playlist maybe because I, I I feel the most like calmed and soothed when I'm listening to that kind of that kind of music you know oh god that's like my that's my you know going into work uh, listen to that to be ready and calm for my my customer service job uh, that. Yeah, it's just like, you know, listening to listening to the Doom uh, soundtrack on the way to work. Uh, in the car, no emotion. But in this case, I'm not in the car. Sitting on, like, a subway train ride. That type thing. Anyways. Um, but, yeah, so I can't, I, do, I can't make a comment on, like, you know, greatest musician to ever ever live because I also have a very limited uh limited view uh, yeah that's uh do I agree that you should never talk about politics at the dinner table um yeah I, I well I guess I don't know because I don't talk about politics uh I I listen to a lot of uh, I, Honestly, I know more about American politics than Canadian because I watch uh, Philip DeFranco, and even then, I still don't know much about American politics. But, like, you know, no one in my family has ever really talked about politics or gotten very political, and, like, I don't understand enough of what's going on to, to vote for anyone in particular. Like, I don't understand platforms or people and who they are. So I, I'm one of the, I'm the only person in my family who doesn't, but I don't vote because I do not feel well informed enough to vote for any one specific candidate. And I feel like if I throw out just a random vote, it's not going to, it's going to have the same impact as me not voting. So in this case, I'd rather, you know, just not vote and then let my, uh, let, let the, let the, let everyone else kind of decide on that because I don't, I don't have any understanding, so I don't really feel like I should have a a, a say in 
uh, politics, at least in like my area. It's also like, you know, it's been the same person that's won every single time. And like, you know, my family knows the, the guy. Um, actually, uh, has he won recently? Uh, did he get changed out? I don't know. He's, you know, uh, at least when like he was in office, my parents kind of knew him. He, he grew up like in, uh, his family's like, uh, from not, not the same area. He, he, uh, when we, where we first lived, he, he was like neighbors with us pretty much. And we kind of, you know, went with him and then, I don't know. I think we went with him at least. I, I couldn't tell you, you know, but, uh, ooh. Next, qu <laughs> next question is funny. Uh, so, uh, the question is, if you could magically have anything come out of your belly button, uh, what would you, what would you choose? And like, you know, there's the obvious answer of like, oh, money, you know, that, that kind of, uh, thing. But what I would absolutely love is if I could take out I, like okay how would I describe this so like if I could make any uh anything within my own body come out of my belly button because then you know I could get rid of if I had a disease and I knew about it, I could be like, okay, belly button, please secrete uh, the disease, and it would just do that. Or I could be like, hey, uh, please get rid of my uh, stomach fat or my uh, any fat on my body that I, I don't like about myself, and I can just, you know, get rid of that. And oh man, that would be really, you know, excluding the first am answer, which obviously would be money uh that's my my second option if I, money's not on the table you know or anything of value also like you know you could totally steal something by eating it and then uh have it come out of your belly button later if it's uh small enough perfect hiding place assuming it's something that is edible and safe to consume it, that that one's a fun one. I li I like that. Uh, let's see. What's my next question? Do I think that people will go to Mars in my lifetime? Ooh, space travel, space travel, space travel. So sounds so good in theory, but like I'm of the mindset we should fix the problems here. Then again, the problems here could be stemmed by just sending people away to another planet that sounds that sounds bad uh you know there's a lot of issues that can be solved by over uh, by a, a lesser population honestly like if we that sounds bad there's no good way to say that there's too many people on this planet and we need to figure out a solution to that because the first solution people come up with is uh some people will quote Thanos and just be like, you know, that, that response, the, the Thanos response, which like, if someone proposed it and people will agree with it, you know, I, I'd be okay with if I, I got selected and then afterwards I'd be okay if I didn't get selected because, hey, that means that there's gotta be a job opening available somewhere. That's a, that, that is a, that is a joke. Um, I do not advocate for genocide of anyone. Uh, but, you know, for, for funny haha -ha jokes about, you know, overpopulation and that, uh, you know, please don't, uh, government, please don't come after me. I don't know who would come after me. But anyways, I don't, like, you know, if that was a solution that ended up coming to pass. You know, would I vote for it? Maybe. I don't know. 
Like if it, if it just has the the concept, kind of like as as you know Thanos explained it, just half of uh, all people uh, indiscriminately chosen. No, uh, no one can buy their way uh, out of it. No one can. Uh, it's just pure luck and chance and uh, fortune. Eh, I wouldn't mind it. Like, I'm not going to... Actually, that's the wrong way of saying it. I, like, you know, I could see myself voting for uh, something like that. Um, but, yeah. So, anyways, if people... Will people make it tomorrow's in my lifetime? Assuming I live uh, till I'm the age of my parents, I could see it happening in the next four decades, you know? Look at how fast we got to, like, space travel uh, in general. So, like, you know, give it, give us the time. I think we can make it. Um, next one. What's the best advice I'd give to an, a small streamer? Ooh. Use hashtags on Twitter. Because they are... I just... Uh, oh, I'm on the wrong layer. Um... I just kind of throw hashtags on every single thing because that way I don't have to worry about whether or not uh, like I, I just kind of like throw them on and make sure that they are they're there so that way I don't have to worry about like anything it's gonna I, I feel like that's the main reason why my Twitter following has been nearly as good as it has been because I just, you know, I throw hashtag VTuber, hashtag art, hashtag, uh, whatever onto my, onto my stuff. I, I, I am shameless when it comes to that. Um, buttons and show. Anyways, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, that my, my advice. Uh, well, stay consistent at it. Uh, do what you enjoy. And, uh, you know, if you can afford to, make sure that, you know, make it look as professional as possible. Uh, if you can't, do, do your best uh, to, you know, fill in whatever gaps you maybe don't have. Um, you know, you don't want to leave everything, you know, blank and empty, even though there, there are definitely big streamers who have done that. And, uh, yeah, find, find your, find your, your niche. That's, uh, that's another, another good one. Um, yeah. Have I ever been in a band? No, I cannot sing. I cannot dance. The only instrument that I know how to play is, uh... Oh, wait, let me get this up. Um, the only instrument I know how to play is, uh, well, actually, that I knew how to play. I don't know how to play it now. I probably couldn't. It's, like, clarinet. That's it. Uh, so, I, I have no business being in a band. I, you know, I, I, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's beyond my beyond my skill set I guess you could say um but yeah you know have I uh, would I give a chance like at singing doing a cover 2,000 patrons I'm gonna make I'm gonna mark that down another uh 8 48 p.m on May the 30th uh, which is a Tuesday, I'm going to mark down that I would uh, do a cover at 2,000 uh, patrons. Or for, like, a goal reason. That would be... That would be the only reason that I'd do it, because I'm not good at singing. I don't have a singing voice. I don't think I do, at least. You know, I think my voice sounds horrendous, but people seem to like it. Uh, you know, people roll up here and listen to me chat uh, all the time. 
I mean, there, there's four of you here today that are, are listening in, listening in, and, uh, you know, that's cool. But, yeah, I don't think any of you would want to hear me sing. You know, I can't, can't really do that. It's not, not my skill set. Um, yeah, but I might be tempted to, uh, ooh, favorite smell. Mm, da, da, da. That's a, that's a, that's another kind of hard question for me because I well, I guess I have this um let me grab it so I can read it it's behind my monitor um I have this rose mist fragrance it's really nice uh, I also have this uh, I, rose is such a intrinsically tied thing to me I should have gone with. I feel like I should have gone with, you know, uh, John Rose is my, uh, it's my name. Uh, sometimes I think that at least, but you know, anyways, um, yeah, it's like, I have a lot of rose scented things. Like I have a rose and vanilla, um, like, you know, um, uh, moisturizer, uh, that keeps my skin looking, you know, nice and nice and good. Um, it's something that I try to use, you know, pretty, pretty frequently. Um, yeah, no, those are no, those are the same. Um, but yeah, it, it's something that I try to use pretty frequently. Um, I, I make sure. Well, I don't use. Uh, I shouldn't say frequently. I, I try to make sure I use it every day after I. Uh, or after every time I shower because you know sometimes sometimes you're you're just too busy and then you have to wait until the the next day but it's like you know every day or at worst uh, skipping one day uh, you know I'm not, I'm not a I'm not a a smelly individual uh, I will I will have you know but um, you know I keep myself uh, in as fresh condition as possible and uh, the 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 moisturizer that I have the the rose and vanilla um, moisturizer thing it uh even though it's not I'm not worried about like the, the smell of it uh, in this case I it, uh, it it gives me a life that I it, it adds life to my face that normally isn't there uh, you know it's 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 one of those things that really really boosts my appearance uh like you like you wouldn't believe you know it's like um actually you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna do this and then get this going um but yeah you know it's like it's definitely improved me visually and has made me look a little bit better to to some and given the impression that I actually look like I have yet. Uh, actually, no, that's a bad joke. Uh, I, I have the will to live, but I, you know, whenever I get the chance of when someone's like, uh, uh, like, oh man, you look, uh, you, you know, when people are like, will make a, if you have the right work friends in the right work environment, uh, like I did before, so people will be like, man, you look like shit today. And I'm like, yeah, I forgot my will to live at home. Uh, you know, and then insert laughs, uh, there, and then they make, like, you know, it's, it's a very similar joke. You, you work in retail, you find the people that have the, the same vibe as you, and in this case, I, I found, I, I kind of went along with a group that had already been, uh, existing before my, my, uh, time at the, uh, the company. Um, but you know, anyways, that that's beside the point. Uh, I need to make this this portion a little bit longer. This is just gonna be the shoulder thingies. Um, okay. But yeah, you know, it's uh, some days are better than other. Uh, 
who would win in a fight, taco or hot dog? I'm a hot dog guy, so I'll say hot dog. What is an underrated video game? Ooh, do do do. That's a good question. That is the wrong layer. Um. Ooh, an underrated video game. I'm trying to think of like games that I play that I really enjoyed that uh, other people maybe didn't. Let's think. I used to have a list of every single game that I uh, played and or watched. Uh, originally, okay, uh, like a game that was poorly rated that didn't deserve to be um, when it initially came out was that, that I really enjoyed was uh, Last of Us Part 2. But that, that's not what the question's asking. Uh, what's a video game that's underrated? I really enjoy City Skylines. I've been, I, I played the hell out of City Skylines, man. I would, uh, City Planner Plays, I was like all over that. And then I started playing myself and I got like to a two and a half million, um, you know, two and a half million uh, population city before my game crashed and uh, decided to you know kill itself I'm uh, sorry I shouldn't say it like that but like you know the game the game crashed corrupted all the data and it just you know it that that was a game that I really enjoyed playing but I don't know if it would be underrated like it's really it's made a lot better by mods uh, you know, adding in your own custom little details. Great modding community uh, for getting, you know, stuff done. <sighs> Let me think. Let me think. What else is up there and deserving? Uh... can't think of a game that like is underrated that I play like I can I can name some games that I love to play that you know I guess other people might not to but the thing is like for for example I I really love uh I really love the Call of Duty campaigns just you know a simple little little thing um you know what? A game that I really enjoyed that people do not like, from my understanding. Um, I really liked Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, that might be the hottest take I have. I found it quite enjoyable. I really liked the, uh, the campaign, from what I remember. The multiplayer was fine. And... You know, I'm not a big multiplayer guy, but the, the little extinction mode, I only ever played the first level with my brothers. And, like, we we would play that, and we would do, like, challenges together, like, split-screen co-op. You know. And we only, we only had the first level because we didn't have, like, you know, the money to get a, like, to get the season pass and get all the, the other maps. So we, we played through the first level, and, like, you know, it was something where it was, like, so, so fun to play because we'd, like, do different challenges amongst ourselves. We'd do, like, you know, different weapon loadouts where we would restrict ourselves. Like, we, we would play normally and we'd still, like, fail even after successfully completing the first go-around about it, you know? That was, that was a really fun game and I feel like it, it's a bit undervalued. For, for what it had. I really like the the, uh, the extinction mode. Should everyone go to college? No. God, no. Uh, I... I... Uh, do, do I regret going to college? Kinda. It was... It really... It really caused... Uh, I... I regret going to college. It was not a great thing for me. Uh, 
like the little bit that I learned was not worth the thousands of dollars that I spent on it. So I do not think that it is for everyone. It can definitely be for some people. And to those people who, uh, who it is good for, I'm happy for them. Uh, but like for, I, I don't think it should be necessary. I mean, the thing is, is like the other issue is nowadays, like very entry level positions at random things are like asking for college degrees and i'm like you're expecting someone to spend uh in these cases it's like ten thousand dollars on education to come work a minimum wage job when they can go and find a minimum wage job that doesn't require an education now granted you know in my case i have not found a job that is willing to sex, uh, accept someone with no um, no education beyond high school. Uh, I mean, technically, I have it marked down that I went for one year. I don't know if I should only, if I should just, like, remove that I went entirely. Or did I do that? I think I did that. I, that, that's beside the point. Um, let me make one. Um, you know, like, I, like, I, it's not for everyone. And I don't think it should be treated like it's meant for everyone. Because not everyone's gonna have the, uh, the same outcome. Not everyone's, you know, built to succeed in a college setting. Only certain people can really pull off college, in my opinion. And personally, I'm not one of those people at all. Um, you know, I, I I do not mind admitting the fact that I am not built for college or university or any kind of post-secondary. Uh, so, you know, that's... It, it's not for everyone. And I don't think it should be treated like it's for everyone. It is perfectly okay for it to not be for everyone. Uh, ooh. what languages do I know and know how to speak? Um, I can speak English. That, that's it. Um, you used to be more than that. Now it is not. Um, used to be able to speak French. Now I can't. Um, used to be able to... Uh, you used to be able to, to to speak a very small amount of Japanese. Now I can't, and I, by very recent, I mean like, I learned that language like within a year ago. Like I, I was learning that language less than a year ago, and I can't can't speak it anymore. Um, you know, so that's a that's a that's a thing. Um, but it's, uh, it's not, not for everyone, uh, to learn multiple languages. It's kind of like it's not for everyone to think. It's definitely good, definitely helpful to learn extra languages, but not everyone can do it, uh, especially depending upon how they grew up and what's going on in their life. Uh, some may have an idea, some, some may not happiest memory from streaming yesterday factually there a hundred percent was uh was yesterday's stream it was it was awesome uh you know uh let me let me just double check yeah it's just the the four of us here uh shout out to to uh mocha for for everything that they're doing uh got me all got me all sorts of messed up because i was not prepared for that i uh i'm a person who kind of you know has to prepare themselves mentally for things and that was something that i was like okay i'll be mentally prepared when i'm at like 
having supporters on Patreon. That that's a like a, a, that's kind of like a, a thing where I have like a hundred supporters on Patreon, for example. And then maybe I'd have like someone willing to do artwork and fan art f for like the uh, for for as it's uh, lovingly put sometimes for for free ninety nine. Uh, but you know, like I was not prepared for for someone to want to do artwork of my character. Um, I'm very excited to, to to see what will what will transpire. Um, and yeah, it's just like, man, you know, you're thing things are happening so quickly. I'm uh, excited to see what what happens. Uh, next next for me um but yeah you know i just that that's definitely definitely my biggest uh thing that i can think of at this moment you know that that's uh, without a doubt it least favorite teacher in school 100 percent uh uh i'll refer to her as miss b uh some people will, uh, some people in the school refer to her as Miss Bitch. Uh, I did not, because I was a nicer person back then. Nowadays, I would. Uh, she was, she, she, she doesn't have the, like, she's qualified to be a teacher. But she doesn't have the personality to be one, in my opinion. Like, uh, teachers... I feel like they're, they're they should care at least about like all their students not just the ones who appear to be capable in their class especially at, like like how are you in a mandatory you're teaching a mandatory class okay that everyone has to pass in order to go anywhere in life and do anything in, with their life uh and you're out here playing favorites. You're not trying to help people succeed. You're trying to help the... You're, you're trying to just work with the ones that have the same... Uh, that, that have more of a drive to, to succeed. Like... Man, I just... You know, the only reason I passed that class, I've mentioned this before in the story, it, it was purely out of spite for not liking how the teacher taught the class and teaching it in a way where they played favorites and did not teach everyone equally. They did not, they, like, I know for a fact that after one month, she had already made up her mind on every single student that was in that class. Because after one month, she started teaching, like, five kids out of that class. And then the rest of us were there kind of, like, you know, learning along, trying to keep up with people that were above our, our skill set. Like, she would actively ignore students, you know, asking questions. She would just be like, you know, if the questions didn't come from the few people who she wanted to teach, she wasn't answering questions you have to go up to her directly and you know for someone like me who's like got who's like nervous as hell even even back then i was so much worse i was like riddled with like anxiety about everything and being forced to you know walk up to the front of the class to ask a question just to ask a question it was something that i couldn't do like that it's like it, it was insane that like she was you know that she was like that and it was it was it, it just like if you don't want to teach and you just want to like like it's just she didn't want to teach in my opinion like and the, the thing is it's like it was a open secret i say secret like it was an openly known thing amongst students that if you got her class you were s 
screwed if you weren't on her good side. And I'm like, how are you still employed by the school if people know that, you know, you're not a good teacher? Or that, like, students will actively struggle in your class, you know? It's just like, how, like, it, it was just amazing to me. You know. Uh, very full. But yeah, it was, just, it was just amazing to me that that was the, uh, the case. I, uh, yeah. But yeah, just, just amazing to me that, like, you know, a teacher can be that blatantly showing favoritism and still be employed like man i just and the, my understanding is she's still working there which is you know terrible like honestly i dislike her more than the teacher who tried to hit me with this car you know and i say tried uh or like he intended to but he kind of he ran a re uh he ran through a stop sign while people were walking and i'm like you know, well, specifically by people, I mean myself. And I was like, I mean, to be fair, I was short at the time. I was I was 5'3 until my last year of, of uh, high school. I went through, I hit puberty late. Uh, which is also why I had a very feminine voice when I was on the phone. At my When I, I used to, I used to do like take phone calls and whatnot. And people didn't know that I was a dude. Some people were like, we, we had a company get together that I, uh, I... I had a panic attack and left, um, just from people, you know, that I had never met, but I had talked to over the phone meeting me for the first time. And they're like, uh, uh, they were like, oh yeah, where's the, where's the, uh, the girl that we always talk to. And they were like, oh, that's a dude. Uh, and then they kind of like motioned to me. I had long hair though. So, uh, I, 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 I like my, I used to keep my hair very long, but it's, it's so much to maintain at that, like like three feet, like 36 inches of hair, insane upkeep, you know? Anyways, I, uh, I gotta think of what I'm gonna do next. Firstly, I think I'm gonna go get some water, so I'm gonna, you know what I don't have? I do not have a Be Right Back screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go create the start screen, duplicate it, and I change it to BRB. I can't believe I never made a BRB screen. Um, and we're on the BRB screen, but I just have to change the the, the language on it. Uh, let's go to here. Um, okay, and then this is going to Actually, this one's gonna be removed. I'm gonna remove all the the language off of this. This is incorrect. Okay, now let me add in proper text. Uh, cool. Change that to G. Uh. Gabri Gabriola. Um, and it's gonna say B. Uh, I will be right back. And why is is not centered. I thought this would default to being centered. It's crazy the difference between 144 and then, well actually no, that goes to 288 actually, so may it make sense. Uh, change it to black. Oh, alignment center. That's what I needed. Uh, 
cool, cool. And let me get an outline going here. That is white. And let me throw that here. Stretch it out. And there we go. That's gonna be. Oh, uh, hey, Mocha. Let me see what you sent here before I pop off. Oh, nice, nice. Looking very nice. I, uh, thank you, thank you. Um, I just, uh, finished off making, uh, full scale, uh, parry. Looking, uh, looking pretty good. Yeah, th thanks for, uh, for, for, uh, you know, doing this. I gotta, uh, quickly, uh, go refill my water, so I'll be, be right back, but, yeah, th thanks for stopping in. Okay, I'm back. Um, I need to find my comfortable position again. You know, there is one good thing about getting a new chair. My uh, my old chair was extremely creaky. Like if I if I sat forward or backwards at all. Actually, I couldn't even lean backwards in it. I, I installed it incorrectly. I, it was, it was, you know, it, it was, it was just built wrong. But, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's just, it, it's so much nicer having a chair that doesn't, like, creak nearly as much. And, you know, hopefully this one will last just as long, if not longer. I mean, my previous one probably did have a thing for, like, you know, if you're over X amount of weight, uh, you shouldn't use this chair. And this, this chair does have that. It's, like, uh, 275 uh, is its max weight limit. So now that, now that I'm below 260, um, I shouldn't have any, any concern about that. And, uh, you know, losing weight continuing to uh you know just just keeping at it keeping at uh eating healthier eating eating better doing all doing all that but anyways yes uh and yeah now that i'm back properly i took a, another look uh mocha and yes thank thank you so much for you know putting in uh the the, the effort and finding the the interest in uh, in my character to, you know, to make art of him. Um, 
I'll do I'll end up having to like you know switch over to the new the new art um, art of uh, of of Perry all of his, his variations uh, uh, pretty soon uh, I'll do that I guess after stream uh, oh uh, my friend sent me a, a thing that just said uh, another art stream. Looks like you're not beating those art tuber allegations. Uh, and yeah, I mean, this will be, uh, depending upon how long I go tonight, I have, I guess I have less content now, now that I've kind of finished off Perry. I might, I don't know what I would do, what I'll, what I'll change about him. I, I think next, next goal is to, you know, for the art is maybe I'll make like a different, different outfit. Uh, that kind of thing. But, you know, oh, you know, actually, I got an idea. I got, I got a, I got a, a li little idea. Little, little idea. Let me get rid of the, uh. Oh, uh, ooh. I, ooh, that, I could do that. I, uh, I, I do have a, I do have quite a lot of. I have quite a lot of anime that I, I do like. Um, currently, I'm I'm kind of I'm uh, I'm seeing what the uh, the the response is for uh, on Twitter. I posted um, about wanting to start up a D and D uh, group amongst like VTubers, and if I if that ends up being like something that happens, I'll be definitely doing art for for that. That's uh that's something that I'd be you know do doing art for the uh cool but I have a cool little idea for what I'm going to do now uh, let me just get a uh a thing open here real quick uh, I've also uh just to kind of what well, one of the the big things uh, I mentioned uh mocha is that um when i uh, like i can definitely find inspiration any, anywhere for art i just have to find inspiration for what to talk about while doing my art um and i recent i i just you know when i went and found a little question generator um currently the the question that is given me is what is my favorite sports team and that's going to definitely be the uh Toronto Raptors not only because proximity and because it's also because you know basketball is my 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 favorite uh fa favorite sport I'd say it's the the sport that I have the most like knowledge about um and like in order for me if I was to like order sports in terms of like my favorite to uh, my, my top five, it would probably be, um, basketball, then soccer, uh, or, uh, football, and then probably American football. Ooh, what would be, like, th those are my top three. Um, and then probably baseball, hockey are, are my other two that I, that I have. Um, but yeah, let me get this, this idea. I mean, he's not really going to to use it for for anything at this time. I I definitely could not. I that would actually be a fun little a fun little thing to do in the future for sure. But man, that that actually I think I've given myself an idea. Okay, actually, I don't I don't really need a reference. Um, but, okay, so let me get this, let me get this started first. Um, uh, the personality, I, I guess it, uh, depends upon which, uh, version, because, like, um, for, you know, when I play D&D &D with Perry, uh, because I, I use him as kind of, he, he originally did start out as a D&D &D character, um 
so I, I kind of he he's very flamboyant I guess you could say he's uh he, he's a bit flamboyant he's a bit uh flirtatious you know he he play I play him uh, as a bard and uh, a bard and rogue so he has he has a lot of different skills um he's very charming and um I, I tend to use his charm as a distraction more than like being stealthy with him because you know that bat, that that bit of uh, flamboyant nature but he also has like the the skill to you know pick someone's pocket and sometimes I use like the the mixture of like his uh, a little bit of like talking to someone with as a distraction with the uh, the pickpocketing if it's needed um, but you know underneath his very outward appearance of being someone who's you know uh who is as i mentioned like you know flamboyant uh, a bit ostentatious um with his uh outward appearance uh inside he's he's a very like he, he's a person that's you know looking looking for a family that's what his that's what his main goal is and to you know build build a family and community and be secure and at the same time be kind of free from uh free from his past of being kind of a pirate but as for perry as like me as a streamer he's definitely more i guess relaxed and laid back trying to the the pirate things purely for uh aesthetic and yeah i just I, I want to, uh, you know, I just kind of, kind of want to share, share him as a, as a person with, with others and allow them to get to experience his, uh, get to experience him and, uh, the, the community that I hope to create with him and just be, be very chill, be, be a nice, like, calm, calm, uh, calm vibe. Because, uh, you know, it, I'm trying to, I'm, I guess I'm trying to be the, the streamer that I'd want to, that I'd want to, you know, have on in the background and, and, uh, and watch, if, if that makes sense. You know, I don't want to be too, too over the top. Because then I, uh, actually, let me hide, uh, these two colors, yeah. Um, or these two layers. I, I did, uh, actually I did fix up the, uh, the body proportions just a little bit. Uh, I made the, the body just a little bit smaller because the more that I looked at it, the less I, uh, it, the more that I felt that I needed to change it. So that's, that's something that I ended up doing, uh, yesterday. Right after the 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 stream finished, um, okay. Yes, that is all. Uh, all well and good. Uh, to, to do. Now let me get this here. Uh, let me do a little little curve. Um, Returning over to my other uh, questionnaire. It's providing me questions. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Do I like weddings? Uh, I guess not personally. Uh, I'm not not one for big. Uh, I guess not parties, but like, you know, I'm not not someone who would. Uh, oh, I definitely did that on the wrong layer. Now that I'm looking at it. Um, like, I, I'm not one for, you know, the whole, for a whole, like, you know, public, um, public thing. It's, it's a bit much for me. You know, just as, it's just, just not my, j just a bit much for me. So I don't, I tend to not go to any. I also don't have very many, uh, people that I, I know that would be having any, so that's also... Uh, another reason I don't really have any, I guess, need to go to, need to go to one. 
uh, I've been invited to one Oof, in, a, in a while. Uh, I think it's been, I want to say, let me think. Uh, it's, it's been a while. I can say that for certain. I think the last one I was invited to was back when I was, you know, still a, still, still a child. You know, or, well, I guess an early teen. But at the time, I think I was in, in school and whatnot, so I couldn't go anyways, and my parents ended up going. It was down on the East Coast, though. Usually, those are the only ones that I've ever actually, uh, went to, is ones that are, you know, down there on the, on the East Coast. Yeah. But that was, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't tend to, to like them, like to go to them. It's, I don't even actually, I don't, I also don't like to go to uh, funerals for kind of the same reason. Uh, they're just, they're just something I don't really, the, the emotions behind them tend to, you know, they, I, they make sense to me, but they also at the same time, like, uh, because of just how I am, uh, I just don't, uh, oh, that's, uh, doing that wrong, it's not supposed to be on that, uh, but, like, I, I don't go to them because, yeah, they're just, they're just not my thing. Uh, I, yeah, I, I get that some people really enjoy them and other people don't, uh, uh, yeah, nobody really, yeah, true, nobody really likes, uh, funerals, but, like, I dislike them, uh, from, uh, I guess for, I don't know if it's for a different reason, but, like, you know, I feel like my unwillingness to attend funerals is seen as kind of, like, disrespectful by some. Uh, I mean, I've only, uh, again, it's also another thing where I don't have any funerals that I would have needed to attend recently. Like, you know, the last one, I think, was, it was for my grandmother, but I was in school at the time, and it was, uh, like, a la uh, thing that just kind of happened out of the blue. It happened, like, during exam weeks, and I just, I couldn't, you know, go to it. That, I do regret missing it. That one was, I guess, the hardest on me. Um, especially since I was, I was very, I, I wouldn't say I'm close necessarily with my, I wasn't like necessarily like the closest with my grandma, because we were like, you know, we, she was on like the other side of the the country practically, but at the same time, I was like, it, it still like it still hurt me that I. I couldn't, you know, make the trip. Only my mom ended up making the trip, which was, you know, made sense. Uh, you know, she wanted she wanted to be there for her her, you know, for her mother's uh her mother's funeral and whatnot. But yeah, it's just, you know, that that not really uh, my thing. At the same time. Uh, okay, something something more lighthearted and not uh, depressing. Talking about talking about funerals. Uh, embarrassing, most recent embarrassing thing to happen to me. Hmm. I mean, like, if I want to go simple embarrassing, I went like a full thirty minutes of a art stream on the wrong uh on on the wrong screen. So no one saw any of the artwork for those 30 minutes. That that was, like, you know, very, you know, funny. Uh, funny embarrassing. You know, very n a nice lighthearted uh, embarrassment. But, like, ooh, what was the other most embarrassing thing? Uh, I guess that uh, a guy at, that I used to work with... Um, this was kind of like peak, uh, peak COVID, um, peak pandemic. So everyone was, you know, all masked up and everything. 
Uh, I, I, there's, the worst thing about that for me, I, I didn't mind wearing a mask, that's, that's not an issue for me. Um, well, actually, there, it was only an issue in the sense that, like, uh, certain masks, if they don't have, like, uh, if they don't fit properly to my face, they steam up my glasses, and then I, I can't see anything, but that's, like, that, that's a minor issue. Uh, the, the biggest thing is that when I was talking to people, sometimes they would mishear me, uh, pretty frequently. So, um, I ended up, uh, I, I was talking with, uh, one of the guys I knew from work, um, and we, we were joking around, uh, doing our, our usual, uh, kind of, kind of jokes at the, the end of the day, you know, before we, we went off, um, uh, for the day and his, his girlfriend had just, uh, showed up and he was like, uh, he, he made a, a joke along the lines of, oh no, it looks like I'm being kidnapped. And I, I had responded with something along the lines of like, I think you could, uh, escape if need be. But he, he took that in a bad way, I guess. He took it as like, uh, a different way than I was intending. And it led to an embarrassing, uh, you know, he it kind of got into uh, an embarrassing little uh, argument at the end of the day before I was like, no, I meant it like, you know, you are physically able to, you know, I, I was just like, you know, you are clearly someone who could easily, you know, be able to run away without any issues. Because he, he, he was a bigger dude and like very muscular. And I was like, and his girlfriend's like, you know, small uh does she, you know he, he mentioned that uh they work out together but like she's you know near, not nearly as big as him and he you know i was just like oh yeah you know you could you could escape in the sense that you could you know you're 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 a strong dude uh and he he took that in a completely wrong direction and it also seems like he misheard me about some things and that was an embarrassing moment because uh I was just, I was like, oh, uh, I felt like, uh, it was more personal embarrassment because I'm like, you know, having to explain the, the, the joke and apologize and for, for, uh, I like that, you know, and, uh, yeah, that, that was, that, that was it. the most other recent embarrassing thing that has happened to me is like, you know, someone someone mis misunderstanding me and nearly wanting to uh, to fight me, and I was like, oh no, I, I, I I'm not a person who. Well, I mean, I can fight. I can. I wouldn't have been able to win against him. Uh, well, actually, you know, I say I wouldn't. I, I might be able to, but I, I wouldn't want to to try and figure out if I could could win. Because it, it feels weird to be like it, it would it'd be a weird way to to go about things after the uh, the events had uh, you know unfolded but yeah you know I just that that was that was kind of kind of embarrassing in its uh, in itself uh, let's make this kind of pink. You know? There we go. Uh, mm, but yeah. That, those, that's like the closest thing to embarrassing uh, that I've had recently. Uh, ooh, favorite school subject. Hmm. What would my favorite school subject be? Because I want to say it was like an auto. Well, I did auto tech for for two years, and it was like, I guess the easiest uh, one that I went through. You know, it it felt uh, like I was able to go through it pretty easily and be one of the the better marks in the class without really getting too hands on. 
mostly because people didn't trust me. I screwed up one thing one time and they just immediately didn't trust me, but I was also the smartest person in the class um, from like a book smart standpoint uh, about how to fix a how to fix a vehicle. Oh, that's not gonna that's not gonna do anything because it's not in the right color. Um, but yeah, you know it, that was a a very a very uh a very fun class in my opinion. Didn't have didn't have too many of those. I really I also really enjoyed uh science. And I really enjoyed home ec the first time that I took it, not the second time. The second time I took it actually gave me, um, I, I get, I haven't told this story. This is a, a sad but funny story. So, um, when I, so I took home ec, which is like, you know, learning to do cooking and proper kitchen safety and a whole bunch of stuff that, uh, I, most people join because they heard that they'd be making and then getting to eat cookies, uh, at least for the guys. That was like the main reason. And then there was a lot of, you know, women in the class that wanted to, you know, learn how to, to do cooking and stuff because it was just something of interest to them, I guess. Um, I, and I was in it because I wanted to know if I was going to be able to be any good at cooking. And reasonably, I am, but I'm also not. Um, anyways, that's, that's kind of beside the, uh, beside the point. Um, so when I saw that there was a second home at class, like home, well, I guess it was called home living. Um, I was like, oh, you know, a second home, a second one. I, I never knew that there was a second one. Let me take it. It's an elective. You know, I can do this. And, um, I showed up to the class that day. I was the only person uh, there that was a dude. And I was like, you know, that is perfectly fine. And the teacher gave me, the teacher was like, are you sure you're in this class uh, by choice? I was like, yeah, I, I joined this class. Because I had no idea what I was stepping into. Uh, and this one was all about parenting. And I, you know, looking back at my, at my young self, and my foolish uh, ideals after learning it was about parenting, I was like, I can still do this. And to be fair, I had one of the best marks in the class. But uh, the final exam, the final exam. So uh, there, there was a, I guess, it, there, there were uh, robotic babies that you have to take home for a weekend and it will cry and it will you know it, it will act like a normal baby would minus the fact that it it can't really move around all that much right it will like it will wake up and oh oh god i just hit my mic uh oof i hope that wasn't too loud i feel bad now um but yeah so it it was like, you know, you got to take this robotic baby home and it will cry sporadically. It was, it was a newer model as well. Um, so it was like, it was really advanced. Um, and you know, you had to, you had to take care of it for a weekend and, uh, yeah, we cry periodically, do, do all the stuff, uh, you needed to, it had different sensors and it would like keep track of certain things for you. Um, and I, it is, it is the, now the reason why I will never attempt to, uh, I will never, I, I do not want kids, uh, now because of it. Um, the idea of being a parent absolutely terrifies me now. So I feel like it was, it, if it was aiming to be a deterrent, it was a perfect course, but man that that class class ruined me i even nowadays i still have minor panic attacks every single time i 
uh, a baby cries around me. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Man, it was awful. Um, I, who, I, like, I ended up, I had to sleep in the basement, uh, which wasn't a problem for me, uh, because my, my parents didn't want to hear the, the baby crying. You know, they, they had heard that three times already. Uh, they had, they had three times was enough for them. Um, but yeah, that was, it was brutal. Um, cause like my parents did force me to go out once with the, the baby in like public. And I went to like going, went out to like eat at a restaurant and it cried there and I felt embarrassed. Um, but you know, it, it made me physically it caused me to be physically ill. It ruined my mental well-being. Um, I literally... I was supposed to go out and get my phone fixed. At, no, actually, it was just... A, I didn't have a phone. I had an iPod. Uh, iPod Touch. I was supposed to go out and get my iPod Touch fixed. And I was so physically ill from the stress of taking care of this robotic baby after one night of it uh, that I could not continue um, could not continue with it, uh, and or continue with the plan that, uh, of going out, I should clarify. So I had to stay home and, uh, it was, it was just, it was wild, you know? Cause like, I was like, oh, you know, it's just going to be a robotic baby. It's going to be nothing. And then suddenly I'm now like fully... My, I, I think my therapist said at the time, it's not, I don't have PTSD, that, that's, but I think it was like, I have post-traumatic stress symptoms, so like, you know, it causes, it pretty much has caused me symptoms similar to PTSD, and I'm like, from a school, all of this from a school project, that, I mean, I got the best mark in the class on, I got my, my exam, it, uh, my final exam, I got a 92% on because I, uh, yeah, just, just like, and I had, I had it for over a long weekend too. So I had it, I had it for the Monday as well. So I had it for three days and like, I legitimately just, I like, I, I, after it was over, I went home that day and I just. I finally, like, after all the stress had settled out of me, I actually, like, cried. Because it was, like, it was such a stressful thing for me. That, like, you know, and it's, like, if I was tasked with, you know, taking care of a kid that wasn't a baby, like, if I had to, you know, adopt in the future, if I'd, like, I'd be willing to do that, but I can't, I, I just couldn't you know and it's it's a real shame because like prior to that i was someone who was like looking forward to the idea of you know having a family having kids you know that that was a whole thing that i was like i was like you know that that's something i want in my future and it just that one class destroyed any instance of wanting that to be in my future and i i guess it stings it stings a bit but i guess it's also it's good to know that i'm not like that i'm not capable of handling that because had that happened to me you know the, I, I was gonna say the natural way like if i you know in the future chosen to you know have a have a kid of my own it would have yeah, i would have probably been under the same same stress the same effects for a longer period of time and it's just like I the only thing I can think of is yeah it's a, it's a good thing I know now rather than find out later that I cannot handle the 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 stress but yeah that's uh that's that's my I man I still really love the class <laughs> Even even after all that, I still love the class. 
Um, but yeah, again, uh, switching to something that is <laughs> that is more positive and less um, it, that and not you know a uh, not not nearly a <laughs> me talking about you know having uh, nearly getting PTSD from a robotic baby. Uh, the question of what animal would I have as a pet if I could have any animal to choose from? Uh, I think I have my... It, I've never had a pet. Uh, my my dad's allergic to, like, dogs. Uh, I'm allergic to cats. My brother is allergic to uh, rodents. And, like, we don't want any reptiles. So, or, or fish. So it kind of like it removed all that. We also didn't want birds either because they're they were kind of loud. And my mom had birds at her workplace for like, uh, you know, guests to or, or people living there to you know have a little bit of a a connection to, to things like a uh, connection to like an animal. In this case, they had birds uh, that would kind of like you know hang out with the the uh, the the folks there. Um, so we never, never really had any animals. So, like, naturally, I'd love any kind of pet. Uh, preferably, I, I think preferably a dog. Um, you know, it would, it would, uh, as I was mentioning earlier, kind of on in the stream, I, I don't really have any kind of, I, I, when I walk, I want to walk with, like, purpose, so I don't really go out walking all that much but if i had a if i had a dog i'd be you know going out on walks with it and then that would you know give me the the purpose to you know go out and do do that however as an individual who has worked on a farm uh before i can say without a shadow of a doubt that the answer is miniature pigs they i mean i gotta i gotta keep my my uh my aglets away from them because they will you know chew right through them but they are so cute and they are really you know friendly and i i just love you know hanging out with them uh in their pen and like making sure that they were all well taken care of that or like a really nice a really uh really big rabbits the uh the, the ones that are like, you know, a couple, they're, they're like, like, you know, rather than being like the, the cute little ones, the, the really big, the really big ones, those ones were, were fun to, to take care of as well. They, uh, very nice. Absolutely loved, uh, my time. Well, I say I loved my time working on the, the farm. They, they were like, you know, they gave me. Uh, the, we had two very different, um, it was like a farm attraction type thing. So people would, you know, come in and, uh, see the animals and they, they wouldn't get to like, you know, touch the animals. That was, it was like a, a petting zoo type thing, but you know, they, uh, sorry, give me one moment. Uh, yeah, they, they like, uh. We had, we had two different, very different, um, two very different bosses. Uh, one was extremely laid back and, uh, was working towards becoming a bartender. And the other guy had been a farmer for years and, uh, was complete hard ass on everyone. And, uh, you know, everyone had their, everyone pretty much had the exact same favorite, uh, person. Uh, which was the guy who was not hard on everyone and, uh, you know, was a lot more, more laid back. But, yeah, there, it really, there wasn't a lot to do. Uh, cause, like, usually I'd get through all the work that, you know, like, there was about, like, two to three of us per day that would be there for, like, a certain period of a shift. Um, and, like, you know, you, we got through most of the stuff in like two hours into the shift 
everything that needed to be done was done within like a couple hours. Um, so we kind of had to find a way to make ourselves busy. Um, and yeah, you know, it, it's, it's very hard to, you know, make yourself busy. Uh, like a lot of the times we just kind of, since we were, uh, allowed to, a lot of us would try and, you know, hang out with the animals, uh, in the pens and, you know, do all that. Um, but yeah, they, we, uh, we usually, uh, didn't have, uh, didn't have much to do. And then, uh, management people would be upset with us if we were, quote-unquote, slacking off. And it's just like, uh, that's gonna be there. So. Let's, uh, do this. But, yeah, um, yeah, it was, uh, for me, you know, it's between, like, it, it, I'd love to have, like, uh, a real dog, you know. I technically, we, my, my brother's girlfriend gets him a ton of, like, dog, uh, um, what are they called? Uh, plushies. Because, um, sh she loves dogs, and she wants to have a dog one day. And because, uh, we can't do uh, since we can't do that, it's like, oh, uh, until then, um, we'll, we'll just supplement with plushies. So we have, like, uh, seven dog plushies. Anyways, I'd love to have, you know, real dog. Um, though, uh, of, of the, of the, the plushie children, favorite one's Rusty. Um, he, he's a real, real lad. Uh, that will make no sense if you don't, uh, w without any context, but, you know, he's, he, he's the real, he's the real deal. He, he's a real lad. Um, why do I feel like I'm making these too, too big? Okay, now let's go with a... Um, but yeah, for me, 100%, it's a, it's, yeah, I, I'd love to, love to, uh, have a dog. Oh god, the, the struggle of making an evenly shaped heart. That feels too high up now that I'm looking at it. Okay. Try and do the little, uh, well, actually, you know what? Why don't I just grab a reference off of thing? Uh. Wonderful, yeah. Borrow, borrow this as the as the reference. There we go. So many different ones. Um, I don't want to directly take. Uh, you know what? I'll do this. Do this one right here. Keeps it. Uh, keeps it simple. Let me put it in my references. Download four. So many references. Um, but yeah, that's uh, definitely, definitely a, a dog. Uh, though, though rabbits and miniature pigs would also be really cute. Would I ever get a face tattoo? No, no, not not at all. Um, I think the closest I'd get is maybe one that goes like kind of behind my ear, 
down my neck. Uh, I had I had an idea for one actually. I forgot to mention this during my previous tattoo discussion. Um, the idea of a uh, what's it called? Um, a tattoo that it has the uh, the lettering for the word uh, dreams, and then have it coming out of like a what appears to be like a hole in the back of my head just kind of like dreams falling out of my dreams falling out of my head uh, kind of like the idea a head full of dreams because you know very on brand for me um, but yeah that, that one's a cool little one that I thought up uh, that'd probably be one that would, I wouldn't get like right away. I have to build myself up to that one because that's, it, actually it's not even really a commitment. It's just, I have a feeling it would be probably one of the more painful ones of the ideas that I have. But uh, yeah. Um, have I ever fallen asleep in a classroom? No. No, I, I, you know, I don't tend to fall asleep, like, at random times. I fall asleep when I want to. Or actually, not when I want to, I shouldn't say that. I have trouble falling asleep. Oh. Yeah, the, the mustache is... I, yeah, that, it's, it, it's hard. I used, um... Let me let me grab the reference that I used. I I, I tend to um, I know it's I kind of I have I know it's kind of like uh what's it called? It's not seen as oh no wait do I not have it anymore? Um oh no wait there we go I have it. Um, I I for for when I'm creating a character like this, I tend to borrow uh like I'll I'll use for references um. Especially if I can't find them, I'll use AI to, you know, because it just for the creation of the references, that way I can really, you know, get get what I'm looking for. So in this case, I kind of I use this, which, um, you know, handsome fella. Uh, and then I kind of like would do uh, I'll do like a couple trace attempts. Um, on the mustache before kind of going in and then using the the muscle memory uh to to kind of make that uh happen you know but i i try to try to limit my use of ai art because i understand that like uh especially for like professional artists and people who um truly you know, are, I guess, what's, what's the, what's the phrase that I'm trying to think of? Uh, like, you know, people who do art as a profession, uh, seem, uh, all seem to have the, the idea that, yes, it's, uh, it's not the, it's not the right thing to do. And I don't, I don't want to step on, uh, anyone's toes and be like, well, I mean, I can, you know, you can use it for, for references. I, so I just kind of keep that thought to myself and don't really don't really bring up much that I that I do use it for uh for for references and things like that because like I, even um like I, I was talking about it with my friends who actually do art for like a for a living like they they do it as a as the uh as their job well, not as their, I shouldn't say as their, they, they do it as like a side job is the best way to, to put it. So, you know, they, they, they have very different views. Um, they, they have very different viewpoints to me on how to go about things. I'm, I'm more willing to be open to trying out it as purely, purely for referencing. 
things because going for uh because yeah go you know sometimes if you're looking for something super specific it can it can be a help but uh i still like to to you know do my own uh do my own stuff at the same time like you know i i I tried multiple times to find what I was looking for with uh, for for Perry, uh, but I only ended up being able to kind of I had to you know make it happen. Which it's I I've I I'm a I look I've uh, since I'm not I'm an outsider in this scenario. I'm not like a professional artist. I can I feel more comfortable doing that, but. I also respect people who are like, you know, they don't feel comfortable doing that. And I don't judge them. I don't think that they're wrong in any way. It, you know, I understand that they, uh, they have the reasoning and I do not try to be like, you know, I do not try and pressure them into accepting my way of thinking uh, about things. I should use a different, uh, oh man, I do think I should use a slightly different, slightly different one for what I'm looking at, uh, because not, not quite there. This, uh, technically, the question that's being asked is, uh, what's, what's my least favorite movie? I, I did answer this before. It is, it is Artemis Fowl. It is the, the worst movie that I've ever watched, the worst adaptation, and I will not, not speak further on that. I've, I've already, I, I spent an hour discussing why I do not like that, uh, that movie and how to, you know, I, I feel, it felt like it took, it took an hour. It probably was not, but... Yeah, that was uh, that was a fun, fun little time. And I, I use fun rhetorically in this uh, in this scenario, in this sense. It was, yeah, I, I really. It's just yeah, one of those things where when you're. When you're as invested as I was in the the series, it really uh, it really really hurt watching that. But uh, yeah, let me get this to general size. Okay. then oh. oh cuz i want to i do make this i want to make it like a little heart shape yeah do the set of lips here and yeah that that gives me enough of an outline now that I don't need to don't need to worry. Actually I'm not really good at drawing lips so I might I might just trace these ones specifically. I also guess uh, I don't have any uh, qualms about 
embracing little details like this, specifically, like, you know. That's my other thing that I, I tend to do that same question has popped up from before the one that I could not answer uh what is a movie that I would rewatch again for the first time uh man I still hmm. it's such a hard question Is my answer. I do not know. Uh, I think I might have one. I, you, you know, now thinking about it, putting in the, the thought, I think my answer for it has to be the one movie that I saw in theaters twice. And like, you know, went and paid to see it in theaters twice. And that's... Surprisingly, it's Marvel and uh, Marvel Infinity War, or is it Marvel Avengers Infinity War? Uh, anyways, that's the I, I, you know, I went to go see it twice. It was that good, and I, I've seen it more times after that, and I really enjoyed it. You know, I had been, I really enjoyed it. I'm happy that I, I saw it twice, actually. So you know what? I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Infinity War. That that will be that will be my response. It took me some time. Took me some thinking because yeah, my 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 initial answers of. Uh, a silent voice that one i needed to see it when i saw it for it to have the impact that it did as i've as i've mentioned and then suicide squad that was you know i enjoyed it for its uh for for how for uh, well actually I, I watched the what is it the director's cut the 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 one that has like all the extra stuff in it um and tends to make more sense. I ended up that's the the version I I went with. It needed to be that version for it to be enjoyable. So yeah, that, that, that's what I'll go with. There we go. Now I will drop this down to one pixel. and regret my entire decision. Nope, not gonna do that. Just keep it, keep it simple. And that's good. 
describe the perfect tuna sandwich. Uh, unmade. I do not like tuna. It's not my, uh, not really a fish person. So, yeah, I, uh, def definitely not my, my, uh, definitely not my preference. You know, if you're if you're into that, that's perfectly okay. I uh, I am not. So uh, I hope that you know. Yeah, you know, my mom's really into tuna, and it just never translated to me. Never translated to me. Kind of like with uh, pork-based products. I don't really do pork-based anything. I, uh, like, occasion aside from, as I mentioned before, like, I'll occasionally have bacon on a, uh, on, like, a pizza or something. But even then, it's like, you know, that's in a very different connotation. Because that's, like, for... You know, that that that's that's a different connotation. Cause yeah, you I'm not really eating the, the bacon, I'm eating the pizza and the bacon just happens to be a part of that. That's an interesting debate. Is mayonnaise good? Personally, I'm a I, I'm a mayonnaise enjoyer. I do find it to be uh, completely like I, I I've been told that liking mayonnaise is like very hit or miss for some people, and I just I guess I don't understand how. That that's like one thing where I'm like, huh never realized that people could just not like mayonnaise. You know? Because for me, it's something that's been so normal for me to have, like, you know, with anything that I that I do eat, that I'm just like, huh, it's like, I, you know, I, I'm not gonna say that you're you're wrong for not liking it but that's just i'm i enjoy it so um you know that's it, it was just a little, a little weird to me perfectly decent and uh for uh, i tend to use it just as like a basic spread uh who is my least favorite popular streamer see i don't know who's popular technically i only know who gets clipped a lot and those are uh, those are two very different things. Um, huh? 
who would it be? I mean, technically, isn't, I guess Aiden Ross is a streamer. He's, uh, you know, he's, he's a guy that never watched anything of his, but my understanding is he's kind of become a, uh, Andrew Tate, uh, fanboy, uh, in the, in the bad sense. I mean, I don't know if there's really a good sense, but yeah, he, I guess it would be him. Because yeah, he's, he's the only person I can think of at this uh, exact moment. I don't really, don't really watch a lot of popular uh, streamers for the most part. Like, I, I, I watch, uh, uh, like I, I'm pretty much like VTuber only for for my stream content because that's like uh, that that's you know who that that's you know they're I guess now they're uh, not gonna say my people but like they're I, I'm in uh, not even in the same category what a, they're the ones that I relate to the most as I've now become more along that line myself. Do it, and if I was say, if I had a, a VTuber that I don't like, I, do, I can't think of one. Like there are people that I stopped watching after, after some things, but like, you know, that, that was like, that, that's a separate thing entirely. Like, I, you know, you can stop watching someone. Uh, you know, like, for example, uh, there's a, uh, oh god, what a, I don't want to say her name wrong. Uh, and then just get uh, absolutely flamed for it. Personally, um, oh, she's French. And I, I've, I've spoken French before. I should know how to pronounce the thing. Uh, I think it's like Saruway, Saruway, Sar I don't know. Just couldn't tell you. Uh, just, I don't know. Watched a few of her clips, didn't really like the the vibe personally, so I didn't end up continuing to watch any of her her clips. That that one was that's like the closest thing I can the, the, to like not liking. Just like I uh, didn't really enjoy your clips. Didn't really feel the the vibe that I was looking for, or that I looked for like you know when it comes to to liking a a, a streamer. So yeah, I guess. You know, she could definitely be, you know, a perfectly great person, but just, you know, someone that I don't think I'd end up watching on a, uh, on a stream. Uh, that's, that's my, uh, that's my entire reasoning, though. It's just like, I don't think I could end up, yeah, watching and enjoying, uh, her content. It's not really my, my style of content. That's who I, that's the only person that really comes to mind from the VTube community that I know of, that I, I, I'd assume that she's, uh, relatively popular. I guess I also, mm, who else was, uh, there was one other that just came to mind and I'm now forgetting who, uh, it's one of the, one of the Visho Joe. uh, 
the shoujo ones. Again, they, they seem like perfectly, you know, cool people, just not my vibe. Some of them are, though. I do feel like though watching clips of someone to kind of figure out if I like their personalities definitely or I, I shouldn't say personality their their streaming style is kind of kind of shallow of me but I mean again I don't have the time to sadly uh, I don't have the time to watch all the the streamers that I want to If I did, maybe I'd end up, I don't know, I guess finding them more interesting. You know, give them a, a full stream as a chance rather than a, a short two minute clip. But. This is a good one, actually. Uh, what is my biggest pet peeve? Ooh, that's a that's a good one. Because uh, I can't I can't say something like. For me, I gotta I gotta figure out what is like, you know. Ah. Uh, ah uh, yeah. I, I, I kind of, you know, kept it similar to my my own. I'm a, it's a little, it's definitely a little bit more bushy than than mine because I'm currently, yeah. So I, I'm sorry for for that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, yeah, I've been uh, on, on the topic of beards. I guess before I go into to pet peeves. Um. One of my my coworkers, he he had uh, from before. One of my, oh no, I just deleted something that I didn't intend to. Uh, one of my one of my previous coworkers, he had this amazing uh, mustache, and he, I was like, you know, do you got any tips for for growing facial hair? Because at the time, I was like, you know, I had I had I had facial hair. I mean, I, I do now, and it was only like a, uh, it was. You know, less than a year ago, this was a conversation. But I was like, "What are what are your tips for you know facial hair?" And like, uh, you know, we we spent like uh, some time going over like you know different different things. But one of the the big things that he he mentioned to me um, was to, uh, in my case, I'm trying to like grow. The I, at the time I was dealing with kind of like patchiness when it came to my beard. And you know that that's it's a very unflattering look when you have uh, patchy patchy facial hair. So, um, what I ended up he ended up telling me um, was that what I what I should try to do is not like uh, I, I as I should continue to like kind of keep it relatively short. Um, but don't take it down all the way because then it will allow it to you know continue to fill out and then once it gets to a certain size that you're comfortable with uh, and you feel like you can maintain you let it grow out some more and then trim it down to that new level and then continue and continue and uh, so on and so forth and uh, it's been really helpful I've uh, my facial hair has gotten you know much uh, much fuller because of it because i i definitely had the issue of i think the biggest issue with mine was that it was um is it was what's it called it um it how do, how do i describe this um it it grew in more heavily on one side 
so I needed to um, oh yeah sorry for this is this is more for uh, uh, guys in the chat but yeah uh, I don't know what advice I'll give for the the beard I kind of kept it to the jawline um, and kind of followed that yeah just just uh, you know you know looking at it I realized that uh, I was like oh you know some of my some of my people that are here that are uh, users that are listening you know they might be guys uh, they all appear to be female this is this is completely uh, completely wasted advice so uh, I didn't realize that but now I do um, but yeah for, for drawing facial hair in my case because I you know tried to keep it simple I was just keeping it focused to the uh, the jawline um, I didn't want to uh, I, I didn't I guess I didn't try to do too much with it. I, what I, I think I did uh, originally when I designed it was, I took a brush length that I was comfortable with as like the the base, and I just kind of drew a line along the. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, I I took a, I think, at the time it was like I was draw, I drew the the mustache with like five pixels and then I went for ten on the and then I drew a line across the jaw and used that as my starting point and then I drew like little the little up swishes for the goatee and the nearly connecting part and then I kind of followed the jawline up making it thinner as I went um up until I reached the the hair it's kind of like what I did um for my for my guy's beard and then for my most recent one, I just kind of did a little little trace. Um, so it is a little bit it is a little bit uneven on this, but yeah. Uh, oh, the the random question has changed, and I've forgotten what my uh, my previous one was going to be about. Uh, but that's a sad point. The The question that it asks is, would I want to become a full-time streamer? Um, which, uh, it, it depends upon, uh, for, for that. It's kind of dependent, because technically, um, actually, no, I'm not doing 40 hours a, a week, so technically I'm not doing it full-time. full, full -time. If you do, like, your co if you're uh, counting it off that, I'm technically not doing it full-time but if you're counting it off like you know streaming with a uh, streaming multiple times a week and having it be my my main uh, job most definitely I'd love to I want to, to uh, I, I would love to make this my full-time job I, I won't say that I want to because that's completely up to you know I, I'm in a very much uh, what's the oh I can't remember the, the movie uh, but it's it's the quote uh, build it and they will come and that's that's pretty much what I'm trying to do I'm just just building it and letting uh, the people who find me and decide they want to stay uh, I, I'm you know fully fully here to just entertain them but yeah I, to answer the uh, the the question yes I would love to to do a to become a full-time full-time streamer and if it happens I will be extremely extremely grateful and even if it doesn't even if it's only like a thing that I eventually have to cut back on as I start up a a different you know job to supplement income while doing streaming as like a side gig uh, even then I'd be perfectly okay with that you know I'm happy with with uh, either option and yeah uh, ooh, actually I've got an, I 
now I've got another idea, and I'm going to test this out. That That is the wrong thing. Uh, oh wait, no it isn't. Because there's probably... Yes, I need to remove the... Remove the stuff. And then round this out. That's, uh, I do find that, uh, man, might have to, to change up my answer for, for most embarrassing things, talking about, uh, beard growth to, uh, completely non-interested, uh, well, you know, uh, non-applicable, that's the, the correct word that I'm looking for, uh, non-applicable party. But yeah, there we go. That that looks that looks cool. And then I bring this back and I take a moment to uh, what's it called? Use this color. Scroll up the the size. Go to the apron layer and replace all of it do it again um but yeah there we go actually I should remove the logo and just get all of it there we go wonderful but yeah yeah love to be full-time streamer answered that answered that Random question, have I ever slept under the stars? Technically, yes, technically no, depends. Um, does, you know, camping count? Then yes, I've definitely done camping. But have I actively, you know, slept outside with no like tent or anything uh, at night? No, I, I have not, that's, Uh, not something I've done. You know, it, it seems like it'd be interesting, but I don't know. Could be interesting. Don't really have any uh, interest to, to do so at this exact moment, though. Or in the past, I haven't really... Uh, I don't think I'd actually ever do it. Unless it was with, you know, kind of kind of being brought along by, by someone. That's an interesting one. How many channels am I subscribed to? Uh, I've been I've been subscribed to the same same few channels so for for YouTube uh, for a while. Um, uh, yeah, I've had the the same kind of kind of grouping, I guess. Because I have like my my two basketball content creators that I. Uh, that I watch uh, regularly, and one of them has, I think, three or four channels I'm subscribed to for different basketball topics. One's for gaming, one's for uh, talking about the the sport, one's for you know talking about uh, multiple things. But anyways, it's, so that's like five, and then I have Wendigoon, who is probably my most recent subscription. 
uh, love his content. Yeah, I, uh, I think I'm at, I want to say, like, 15 to 20. So that's, uh, that's my current, current range. It, it used to be more. I actually, I unsubscribed, uh, oh no, I just did, did a wrong thing. Um, I, I, it used to be a lot more, but I unsubscribed from almost, uh, you yeah, know, I unsubscribed from practically all, uh, Rooster Teeth, uh, related channels for, for all the, just for all the stuff that had happened and, and like initially when it when the news uh <coughs> oh i didn't get to mute it in time uh sorry for for that um yeah i i used to be like a really big fan uh for for quite a while actually and then you know i heard like i, I saw some controversies come up but every, every company has controversies and it seemed to be more like a couple bad apples you know in the in, in their in their system and they they got rid of them and you know moved forward without them and it, it looked positive i guess you could say and for a while i you know continued to support them everything seemed fine until more controversies came out regarding more members and it kind of it it hit a point for me where I was just like you know I I don't think that I can continue to s support this this group any further you know e even the content that I was that had kept me there in the past was it was starting to die off and I decided to you know I guess leave when it made the most sense where you know I I I was just like you know you the this uh it, it was time to you know part ways for me from continuing to, to watch and yeah, it's just, it's just rough. The only, the only thing that I'm, uh, still, I guess, uh, technically, I, I do follow, um, one thing that they still create, which is Red Web, which is done by two of the, the newer, the newer fellows who aren't in and amongst any controversy, and, uh, you know, it doesn't really feel like the same it, it doesn't feel tied. It doesn't even mention... Uh, I believe it doesn't mention anymore that it's, like, you know, specifically tied to, to Rooster Teeth. So I've... Uh, and I'm like, okay. I, I can feel comfortable supporting this one thing. It's, you know, it's a, it's a podcast uh, about mysteries, and that's, that's right up my alley. I, I do like the the spooky the unsolved uh things like that and you know i i listen listen in to oh god that was everything oh that that's quite a lot that i just undid um but you know i feel comfortable supporting those two specifically as they are you know from uh, a group that arrived and did not have any their, their names were not brought up in any controversies and I felt comfortable supporting them and them alone um, but it, it did come to, to light that anything was happening I'm sure I could find you know content elsewhere also it would depend upon like what's uh what technically happened because you know there are some who uh definitely there have been false things that have also happened uh, regarding people 
uh, in the past where people kind of like dip, you know, too early. Uh, just fully believing one thing to be 100% true when it turned out that it wasn't. And yeah. So I, I tend to, I do try to avoid making like uh, knee jerk reactions, but um, when you when you have something like there was with with rooster teeth, it, you know you gotta. For me, it was just like yeah, it's it's time. Um, I wasn't even enjoying like uh, Ruby anymore, which was kind of what initially uh, brought me to to rooster teeth as a as a viewer, and I'm kind of disappointed. I watched up to, what was it, I think season eight, season seven, season eight, whenever they had that whole, uh, whole thing with, with, uh, I believe the Atlas, I believe was the, the name of the, the city, that whole, that whole arc. And now my understanding is they, uh, just from things that I've seen, uh, is they ended up doing like, I guess a soft reboot. Um, or not, maybe not a reboot, but like they, they've done something to where, um, they can technically reboot the, the series or change up what was previously, uh, canonically accurate, which, you know, is fine, but, you know, the only thing that I, the only thing that can, would bring me back possibly is say it uh it's it's roman torchwick um you know it feels weird to be like it, just be like of course my favorite character is the redhead guy uh but you know he's he was such a great character in the in my opinion i, I really loved the the influence from like you know a clockwork orange i believe it was a clockwork orange i i think that was where some influence came from his design and things like that and just his mannerism his his actions I, I really enjoyed him as a character um but yeah that that was a a character that i really um it, it was a, a character that i really enjoyed him him and uh neo were my my two favorite uh characters in that series which is hilarious that i enjoyed the villains more than the the main characters because well, i guess at the time they were more interesting um and then there was some interest added in uh though honestly uh i don't oh i don't want to spoil anything but uh, man there was one specific grim from that series, Grim being kind of like, I guess, a naturally appearing enemy uh, throughout the series that can take on various different shapes and forms and have various different abilities. And it was one that was introduced. Um, well, actually, I guess I could describe it without it, it will show up naturally. And if you end up watching the series, um, it's referred to as, I guess, the apathy uh, grim. Pretty much, it influ makes it drains people of the energy to to do anything, and thusly, they end up kind of giving up, and you know, they they end up being having all will to do anything removed from them, and. It was such an amazing one-off creature, or one-off variation. Like that that idea, and the uh, the funny thing, uh, funny thing is uh, that I don't remember what season it came out in, but I have I had written a character prior to seeing that that had. I guess a similar ability. 
except they're a hero. I, I like to, I like, I love taking typically villainous uh, abilities and giving them to heroes and having them be forced to prove that, you know, they are not, uh, they're not evil and prove that they can use this ability for good. So, you know, uh, like the main character of my series has, uh, has blood magic, pretty much. He, he can manipulate and control his own blood. And that's, that's very typically seen as a, as a villainous ability. Like a lot of people so associate blood magic with evil. Like, oh, one of my characters is literally possessed by a demon and just is trying to, you know, live and be a normal person and using the ability, letting the demon out to uh, be able to, to help in situations where they're needed. But, you know, they don't like doing it. Because it causes them physical discomfort and technically this demon could do anything um you know it, it's like I, I love i love adding that complexity to to characters uh, ooh, i'm happy that that did not do uh that did not happen okay cool um, you know, I'm trying to think of other typically uh, villainous abilities that I have going on in my heroic um, group. I'm, uh, yeah, that's, uh, oh, I know what I gotta do. I know what I gotta do with something here. Uh, listen. Can't, can't share. Uh, what's that la that audio? Uh, I I have plans, but I can't share them because the haters gonna the haters gonna gonna stop me. Uh, I don't know if that's the audio, but I have plans. I have plans. Um. So yes. Uh. Do, do, do. Let's get the hilariously. This is just going to end up being Comic Sans. All the fanciness and then Comic Sans T-H-E. <laughs> Man, it's, I only have 10 minutes left? Wow, it, it does not feel like I... I started off this feeling, you know, a little bit tired. Um, oh. Great question. Would I sell one of my toes for three hundred thousand dollars? Yes, in a heartbeat. I, you know, I'd sell every single toe for it three hundred thousand dollars each. No questions asked. Like even if I had to go through the removal process, uh, and be told that I get no painkillers afterwards, I think I'd be willing to put up with the pain for. You know, I think, what, three million? It, even though three million would not take you nearly as far as it uh, once had uh, back in the day, it's like, it's still good money. And for someone who who's like me, um, funny enough, I did the math, I believe. Uh, it was, in order to survive the rest of my life and live the rest of my life without any issues or qualms or anything i'm a very simple a very simple guy um i believe that like if my math was correct i needed like two and a half million not counting for inflation uh to reach the end of my life with uh with you know a perfectly as a perfectly content person you know for you know that that's that's covering like food lodging um everything and i was like man some people will just spend two million dollars on like 
the most random thing. Like, you, you could cover someone's entire life expenses for two million if, if they're smart with their money. To be fair, I'm someone who, like, after previous uh, things with being with my past, uh, I've definitely been forced to become smarter with my money. And, you know, in this case, you know, I'd spend immediately, I'm spending like $10,000 towards streaming. You know, and I'd still be doing it at this point. I would, you know, I would just be doing it for fun. I wouldn't care about any of that like i'd be putting like i i you know i'd be doing i'd be doing charity streams daily i'd be i'd just you know if i was making enough money to to do this full like if i had enough money to do this full time and just kind of do what i want i'd just be doing charity streams like and then every month um the combined amount of money that's been uh made by you know me streaming uh the chat chooses where it goes whatever whatever uh charity or cause they want to to support uh whatever one gets the the most votes um you know will be be selected something like that you know that that would be you know that would that would be ideal because like at that point I don't need money like I'd, I'd be perfectly perfectly fine I'd have like I'd have all the money that I need <laughs> uh you know it's just yeah man like the only scenario where I'd be questionable is like if uh, I guess uh if they had to be removed by myself then i'd ask for a bit more money i'd i'd be like a million a toe i'd you know remove it myself for a million um as long as there was the understanding that after it was removed um that a medical uh professional would patch it up but you know like that's You know, it, it's I'd I'd be willing. Anyways, um, now I get to save, uh, you know, the kiss the cook version of, uh, of Perry. I'm gonna make a different version. Uh, let me just save this as KTC Perry. Save it as PNG. Uh, yes, I'll save that as a separate file. But yeah, you know. And now for the uh, there's nothing going on here. Nothing, nothing has happened. Nothing has, nothing has happened. Uh, you know, that, that is, uh, I, I like how this has turned out. I, I like, uh, this little, this little special kiss the cook. You know, for all the, all the stuff that's going, uh, that I've been doing IRL. A little bit of, you know. Do, doing my duties um but yeah you know if i ever do a cooking stream which would require me to figure out how to set up a, a hand cam uh and do because like i i have a i have a just an absolute uh you know absolutely uh chunky uh pc so i'd have to that, that's a that's a future me thing to to, to do but for now, um, I think since I've finished off everything and we're at like 
four hours, I'm going to um, going to be ending the stream. I wonder, huh? Can I? I gotta figure out something first before. Okay, uh, dang. I don't know how to do a raid at this time. I think it's mostly because my, uh, my, my stream is a bit too new to do that. So for now, I will not, but in the future, once I figure out how to, people, people are going to be getting raids at the end of my streams. And, uh, yeah, uh, thank you all for, you know, showing up, listening in. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day, uh, or a great night, depending upon where you are. Uh, th thanks for stopping on by, and I will, uh, see you tomorrow.